All right. I think we are here. I think we are good to go. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to start fishing. I should probably also make sure I hit the record button. Not, not that I really need to record these, considering it's just going straight to, uh, straight to YouTube. Okay, good. Perfect. I reloaded my, uh, reloaded my save. I went to go get a, a screenshot of that, that giant crab mimic, because I couldn't find it in my footage. It was there somewhere. I just couldn't find it. Uh, let's see. So what were we going to do? I, okay. I know we're supposed to go to the lab and go fi uh, you know what? I am actually going to go do a little bit of progress. We want to get the Abyssal and Hadal hook. So I can actually fish deep. And so we should probably go get that rather than, um, oh, we're still only at a few fish. So there's no reason for me to do this. I, have I fished this thing yet? Oh, oh, it's the Barracudas. Yeah, we might as well fish some Barracuda. Uh, but I might as well go for the deep sea fish, seeing as they're right around here. Uh, anyway. And so I'll do a little bit of plot progress, and then we'll go work on money. Boop. Trophy Barracuda. There's a lot of Barracuda here. Uh, let's see. If I put this here... Oh, no, it's been depleted. Alright, well, that makes life easier. If I went over that, do you think I'd get in trouble or not? I have no idea. I have I have no idea if I'd I'd get in trouble. Going over Oh god, it's got like a big chompy mouth and everything. That is legitimately unsettling to behold, going kind of around it. It's waving at you, it must be friendly. <laughs> oh right, I also have a bunch of crab pots that I can use for things. Well, Wait, no, I can absolutely take this one. Oops. Need me to pick up the crab pot. Here, I'm just gonna... There we go. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. Trophy crab. I wonder if you can get crabs in the really cursed state. Maybe. Oh, and that one lasts for a while. Uh-oh. Thank you, internet. Okay, hopefully that didn't in interrupt anything. I just had a, uh, a blip, and I have no idea how YouTube handles uh, disconnections. I don't know. I'll have to check the uh, footage later. Oh boy, I have a lot in storage. Uh, but it's still... Okay, so what was I going to say? Uh, let's see. Surprised and glad to catch the stream. Been looking forward to seeing the rest of this. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to do more of this. Uh... Yeah, I'm lagging so hard. Yeah, my internet has not been the greatest, and I'm hoping YouTube isn't, uh... YouTube handles, uh, weird disconnections like that better than, uh... I'd say better than Twitch. I don't actually know if Twitch handles it that well. It just disconnects for a little bit. Okay. I apologize for that. My, uh... I don't know. My internet is not as good as it could be. I'm on Spectrum, and they're mostly fine. Uh, but every once in a while, it gets, it gets funky and not in a good way. And so I'm hoping we don't have too much of that today. A little bit of frame droppage ain't too bad, but the rest, uh, if it happens too often, then it's like, sucks. It's part of the reason why I cut back on streaming a couple years ago is that my internet suddenly became extremely iffy. 144p, ooh. I apologize that you have to deal with that to some degree. I was going to go for the... I was going to go for the deep sea fishing stuff, but we actually seem to have plenty of fish here. Yeah, let's just kind of chill and uh, grab as many barracudas as we possibly can. Oh, savage barracuda. Thrashes about ruinously, jaws snapping and tearing its own flesh apart. I I think I've, I've already fished that one before, in retrospect. Okay, now we're out of, uh, let's see, we're out of Barracuda. What is this stuff? This, this, no, this should just require regular rot. Ah, it's the, uh, Glow Squid. So, wonder what is your favorite game to play when you have nothing else to play? Uh, Creeper World 4? Oh, Radiant Squid, beacon from the depths below, a glimpse of a new sky. E. 
But yeah, I, I usually default to Creeper World 2 if I don't have anything else uh, to play at the moment. I really like that game. I'm trying to think of other games that I like really go out of my way. Uh, I guess part of it is it's very rare for me not to have an insane number of things to play consistently. Um, that, you know, I've been going through... Oh, what have I been going through? I've been playing a lot of uh, Nordic Ashes, but that's entirely just kind of for my own appreciation. And so that, like, when I come back to do another video for it eventually... Uh, I will be able to um, dive into it with a much higher, like, level of meta progression, and we'll be able to show the game off better. Uh, just because I do kind of hate playing the bullet heavens that are very high. Uh, the bullet heavens that have a lot of meta progression, and since I only generally do like one video at a time, it's a little rough to not do any uh, any grinding for those games. So I'm like super weak. Whenever I come back to do a video. So I try not to... Well, I, I try to play some of those on my own. A little bit. So lab... Uh, laboratory. It's in ruins with equipment and research papers. Strewn about the place. Where do you want to look? Uh, equipment on the table. After some searching, you find the prototype parts that the researcher needs to assemble this sampling device. You stow the prototype parts on board. Okay, I think we have everything else. Uh, so we might as well just sleep here. The game is quiet. Oh, I did I did turn it down a bunch. Give me a second. There. Is that better? Should be. I turned it down because, I don't know, it was really loud for me when I was getting started, but... Eh. Might actually be too loud, but might just be me. Thanks a lot. Cool. Yeah, getting items, I see. A little bit of plot progress. We want to get uh, the ability to fish. And, oh, that's a shadow of a palm tree. I saw something moving underneath me, but it was the shadow. But uh, that freaked me out a little bit. As time went by very quickly. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna load up like crazy on barracudas because they're worth a lot. Let's see, what about these boys? Oh, it's the other side. Oh, god. Oh, gosh. Err... Okay, Coral Grouper is kind of big. I can... I can 100% fish this thing. Or fit this thing. I just have to figure out how. I think the secret is... Moving these parts around. Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see. It's 100%. You want to know the secret in the area? Nope. I'll ask when I need to find stuff. But I generally don't want any any secrets or hints or tips or anything like that. The thrill of discovery is one of the main reasons why I like playing games. I don't want to say that life is boring and repetitive and stuff. It is. Uh, there's very much kind of that, that feeling of like, been there, done that with a lot of games. And just overall experiences in life. And so... Especially when I'm playing a really good game. Uh, somebody's spoiling that for me. Even, like, the mechanics. Uh, it sucks. It sucks so hard because... Yeah, then I just lose... Uh, I lose... I guess part of that experience that I would have normally otherwise had... Uh, had on my own. It's one of the things that I don't like about streaming in general. Like, it's not so bad on YouTube. Because I can play super far ahead, and I, I actually stopped doing uh, like full let's plays, and so it was kind of nice to be able to just play through a game and not have to worry about dodging spoilers ever. Um, but now that I'm back, I guess it's a bit of a risk that I'm uh, uh, going to have to worry about. But no, I I will ask, but please, please do not tell me a thing, even if I make a rhetorical question, which I do often. Uh, it is not unusual for me to be like, I wonder what this thing is, and then if somebody tells me that, like, that, that's sad, and I, I get sad. Let's just go back around. Have I seen the surprise crab? I am pretty, okay, one, that is still spoilers. Like, don't do that, but yes, I have. 
It's literally in my video thumbnail, which I guess I'm not any better than you are. Uh, okay, can I take all? Will it just auto sort? No, it won't. All right, whatever. I'm trying to make a lot of money so I can actually... Oop. Yeah, no, I, I am not allowed to pass judgment considering I put the surprise crap in my video thumbnail. Uh, once dazzling skin, now bleached and eroded, it barely resists. Relieved at a final end. Ooh. Oh, that's dark. Wow, this place is worth, like, loads. But yeah, even questions like, have you seen X or Y yet, is very much a spoiler. Uh, what was the one? I mean, honestly, if you're like, has the twist happened yet? Or is the surprise? Or like, even anything like that. Like, knowing that there's going to be some kind of big reveal or twist or, or whatnot. Uh, like, very much can, can be a spoiling experience. And in a way that would uh, upset people. Would bug me, specifically. I don't know. I don't know if you've ever played, like, uh, a game with a friend. A uh, game with a friend? Uh, watched a movie with a friend, and the friend is like, Oh, man, pay attention. This this next part is my favorite. You know, just small, kind of inconsequential stuff like that. Uh, has this very iffy uh, feeling of somebody being told, like, Pay attention to this part. You know, it's so good. And it's like, now I need to... Like, one, yes, I need to pay attention. Okay, fine. But there's also that aspect of, like, the suspense of it happening, the natural reveal of it. Uh, let's see. The natural reveal of it is so much more impactful. Uh, so please, please stop even trying to tell me how hard it is to find this, this secret that I'm supposed to find in this area. Because... Knowing that there is one is going to piss me off, because if I find it, I'm going to be like, oh, that's the secret. I'm like, yeah, I know, there probably is all sorts of secrets in this area. But even just the dull awareness that there is a secret secret that I'm supposed to find somewhere in this area that might be hard to find uh, makes it a little bit worse, because now there's that kind of, like, lingering completionism desire to specifically... Uh, try and find it. Or to ask for, okay, fine. If it's so hard, then tell me, which I know is your goal. But it's not a, it's not good. <sighs> Hello again, what do you need? I have these prototype parts you asked for. Excellent, let me assemble the device for you. This should allow you to catch the specimens from much greater depths. It's a little slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. Sampling device. If only I had enough space for it. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna put it in storage. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking, or enrage it, I'm not mm. sure. Connect it to the research outpost generator. You'll have to return and re-engage it every couple of hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Oh, okay. Great, now take a look at the specimens. List of specimens. Remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You may also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. So we've got a snailfish, an anglerfish, a giant amphipod, and a loose jaw. Well, uh, let's see. So I can't really do anything in the moment, but... Oh, I still can't unlock this thing? What? Maybe I have to finish the quest before I get access to this. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'm just going to save my bits for the time being. I guess I'll put that in storage. So here's the question. Do we uninstall the net? I guess I have to. Okay, this is unfortunate. There we go. Oops. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, I gotta go, uh, I gotta go back to the shipwright. Probably also switch away from this, because I no longer have any kind of net. I 
I don't even know if I'm going the right direction. That's her over there, right? Yes. I'll just go around the outside for the time being. So how are you doing, Wander? Pretty good, actually. I am having a nice and comfy afternoon. I had a friend over yesterday, and so we were playing a lot of board games. And so that was super pleasant. And then, um... Uh, what is that? It sounds like a cursed bird, but I think it's somebody's car. Oh, an Amazon truck apparently just pulled up outside my uh, apartment, but it sounded like a really cursed bird. Ah, it's the sound of, uh, the sound that plays when it's backing up. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Do we just keep grabbing these? Cool. All right. I am going to... I'm just going to do a little bit of moderation. I am sorry, sir, but you cannot be here. I'm trying to be tender about, please do not spoil things for me, but even asking, like, have I seen X or Y? Like, that's... You're... You've already... <laughs> you were already warned a couple of times. Uh, at this point, no. I am not in... I am not interested in being host to somebody that is going to constantly... Uh, and tacitly spoil everything. Uh, let's see. Let's actually pick this thing up. Because, yeah. Yes, I have seen the, the ghost chips. But you have, like, like I was trying to describe, even the question of have you seen this can be a spoiler. And that we've already had one of those go by from this person. Uh, but then to have that continue is just like, nah, no. I, I hate to be the uh, the big bad rules man when it comes to these things, but like, too many, if I give too much on these, I, I cede a lot of my, not my control, my enjoyment uh, for the sake of uh, specifically, I don't want to say like appeasing somebody specifically, but uh, that one of the most important things for me is to actually enjoy the experience of what I'm currently doing. And if that stops happening, then I really should not be streaming. Uh, and so I've got to be very defensive about, like, oops, nope. i got to be very defensive about, like, a person spoiling me or, or verging on spoiling or actually spoiling and all that stuff. Okay, do we want, oh gosh. Oh, cripes, this thing was almost done like ages ago. I just needed the wood and then I must have gotten distracted. Community moder moderation is one of those things that, like, how would I even describe it? It's a giant pain in the butt, but it's one of those things that you have to do with this job. Or you could just ignore it, and I find, like, ignoring that problem and hoping it goes away almost never does. It's almost always this, like, bad experience where uh, bad actors start to kind of filter in in the worst possible way. It used to be a lot worse about community management. And, like, Shell still kind of holds it against me uh, for some of the people that I let stay in my audience for far too long. Because uh, it was one of those where it's like, well, they were good sometimes, but that's no excuse. If she sells one more refined metal, we might actually want to buy it while we're here. Ah. Oh, no, we don't have any more fish. We do have the crab pots, but I think we've already fixed those. Let's go to mm. shipyard. Yeah, let's buy... Let's buy the last refined metal. Okay, so now that we've done that, I have, I believe, enough that we can actually get that fishing rod down and maybe some other stuff. <laughs> I remember when RP was a big thing in this chat. At first it was innocuous and I didn't mind. Like it was a little weird, but who cared? And then it got to the point where it was like actual, uh, oh, it's abyssal only. So we can't even get to Hadal. She said you, we have to modify it. That's a question. Let's see, is there anything else I could even put in here? Not really, no. Well, I guess I'll just put it along the side. Yeah, she resets per day if you need bombs or metal. Yep, I kind of figured. I know you can find the refined metal just by exploring, but I don't don't care to but 
Yeah, so, e I mean, even the RP in this chat very much was something that I was just kind of like, yeah, it's happening, but it's not really affecting me and it's not really hurting people. And then it got, like, actual creepy in a way that it was, like, driving people away and, and upsetting them. Um, oh, wait, now the research works? Wait, so I had to, I had to up, uh, just equip the dang thing before I could actually get the new one? What a weird waste. So how is this game? Might add it to the collection. It is probably going to be one of the best games out of this year. In my opinion, it might actually be one of my favorite games I've ever played. Not necessarily because of its mechanics. Yep, there it is. But just because it's such a weird game and such a cool game. And I truly wish more, more developers were like this inventive. Uh, it's one of those that I legitimately kind of hope they make another one of these at some point. Just so we can have more like it. You know what? Maybe I ignore the bottomless lines. Yeah, because that's 405 to buy a fishing rod that I'm going to replace kind of quickly. Um, it's... Hadal, not Hadal. Eh, Hadal sounds better. Yeah, why don't we, uh, why don't we go find some... some repair bit, or some research bits, rather than trying to use this. But yeah, it's a really good and re reasonably short chill game through and through, and super worth it. Yeah, I think it's like 10 to 12 hours, give or take. Uh, I don't know how much it costs on, on Steam. I haven't looked. Unfortunately, I'm one of those privileged, uh, privileged people that gets most of his video games for free. Uh, and so that puts me in kind of a weird position of... Uh, my sense of value with video games is inherently skewed. She's got a re research part. Sick. I'm running low on money, but it's worth it. Yeah, 30 where you are. Okay. I thought I was the boat on the other side. <laughs> oh, no. Let's try that again. Hello. You didn't see that. Repair. Yeah, the camera angle just swapped, and I was just like, okay. Leave, leaving time, donk. Oops. Well, we might as well take the, uh... We've got the one rod. Let's just make do with what we've got for the time being. And see if I can get anything else. But yeah, I, I very much will stand by. This is probably going to be one of the better games out of this year. Just in terms of, like, setting and visual style. And quality. And presentation. Like, I've played a couple other fishing games, but most of them are kind of ho-hum. This one truly feels, like, super solid the entire way through. Let's try and look for something deeper that I wouldn't normally be able to catch. I think these are more barracudas. I mean, there's a shark. I might as well go for the shark at the time being. Or shark for now. I think that's the hammerhead. Oh, but it's oceanic. <laughs> I can't farm. I can't farm. I can't fish for those. Can I fish for you? I can! Fangtooth. I don't actually know if these are worth that much, but whatever. But yeah, just to finish my thing about community management, I'm trying to be much better about it. I'd, I'd kind of neglected it for a while, but I'd also never quite appreciated how important good community management was for my own mental health. Uh, even recently, I've had a, a, a string of kind of nastier comments, which, like, I kind of brought on to, my, uh, to myself a little bit, either because what I was talking about was, like, a smidge more controversial. Uh, so, like, I did a bullet heaven tier list, and I had a couple of people insulting me for my opinions, and I'm just kind of like, well, that was kind of uncalled for, and it's been, like, stuck in my head a little bit. And it's one of those where it's like, I think I had gotten good enough at culling the people that, like, bothered me for no reason. That I'd forgotten what it was like, like to be in the situation where kind of mean-spirited people would just be leaving comments. I realize it's the internet, you can't get rid of all of that stuff. But, boy, when you manage to, like, clean up your corner of the internet to the point where it's, like, actually kind of pleasant to be there. Uh, it's a really nice place! Yeah, the entire point is opinions. A lot of people cannot handle uh, being confronted with an opinion 
that is separate from theirs that is, I, I'm going to say innocuous. Like, I can say, oh, what's a good example? I can say I think Persona is kind of a bad game. And that instantly is going to make somebody bad. Uh, like, so somebody is going to be slightly set off by that comment. Oh, that's a ghost ship right there. Cripes. That's a little closer than I want it to be. Oh, well. Good luck catching me, sucker. I'm fast. It's probably faster than I am. Uh, but yeah, I legitimately think Persona would actually be a better, like, 20-hour game. Cut out all of the, uh, the social stat grinding and just let me see a bunch of events in kind of a more linear visual novel style. And... Uh, let's see. Pop the generator in. Could be connected to the outpost's generator here. Yup. I just want to get stuff out of my inventory. Small object rolls out from under the under the generator, covered in dried salt. Hey, another research part. Activate the machine. Not right now. We are going to sleep. I was kind of hoping that noise that I was hearing was actually the ghost ship just waiting for me to leave. Uh, because that would make me very happy. So let's try the repulsion machine. Hums and words to life. A few seconds later, bright light shoots from the top and the alarm begins blaring. Should keep the creature at bay for the time at least. Yeah, I like Persona myself, but huge time sink with uh, school and stat status and stuff. I'm like, I would gladly play an alternate, uh, like buy, oh gosh, he really did sink back, didn't he? Um, I would gladly play like an alternate Persona game that is is just 20 hours, cuts out all of the stat grinding and social links and whatnot. Um, and like, I, I would pay for that if I, if I could even. As silly as that might sound, this is one of those where like, I really want to like the Persona games. I think they're, they're cool. I just also recognize the fact that it's virtually impossible for me to play them normally. So like, yeah, JRPGs be JRPGs. But my thing is I've played enough JRPGs that aren't that don't have to be, that kind of do their own thing um, or kind of buck that trend. And they're great, and it's, like, really good, and it's... Ooh, Angler Fisher. Freaky. Uh, and it's one of those where I, I will always kind of advocate for, hey, maybe JRPGs could actually be more condensed experiences and they'd be incredible. Uh, easy example, it's not a short game, but Final Fantasy VII R is, like, one of the most condensed JRPG experiences I think I've ever had in a video game, and it feels like legitimately really good playing that game. Uh, okay, hold up. Because there is there is a little bit of fluff to that game. I, w I won't deny that there is some fluff content for 7R, but it's very low compared to pretty much every other game in the genre that I can think of. I'd be willing to get Persona if it wasn't for the giant wall of stuff that I'd be looking at a guide for half my playtime. Yeah, that was the thing I was running into, is that I actually did follow a guide for five. And it let me see everything, which was nice, but I didn't really feel like I was playing the game anymore. And it was kind of one of those where it's like, but I never want to play this game a second time around, so I'd rather have the worst experience while following a guide, so I wouldn't have that kind of feeling of, but I didn't actually get to see the uh, full extent of the game. Because I think it would have kind of sucked to get to the point where I had, uh, you know, beat the game, but, like, half of my social links were, like, partial. Yeah, there are also a bunch of alternative Persona games. Devil Survivor is one, Strange Journey is another. I don't think I've ever heard of Strange Journey. And so, ultimately, like, it doesn't bug me that much. I just don't have to play Persona. Uh, and I just don't have to worry about that experience. But if I had a lot of JRPGs in general, tend to be too long. Anyway, uh, so just to go back to what I was saying about, like, controversial opinions, and so me saying I don't like Persona, a lot of people will actually have the reasonable take of being like, yeah, I kind of understand that, or, like, here's some uh, some other alternatives. And, like, I really like that kind of discourse because it's, it's very reasonable, respectful, and actually constructive. But every once in a while you'll get somebody who, like, actually re uh, reacts with a much more aggressive knee-jerk anger reaction and those are the people that usually are uh the most vocal and uh the hardest to i don't want to say deal with but it, it specifically is kind of disheartening to run into somebody that is weirdly mean just because you don't share their exact worldview. 
Though it also depends on what that exact worldview is. Like, there are certain word worldviews that, like, yeah, I'll be mean to somebody if, uh, if their worldview is different from my own. But that's, like, some very specific worldviews. Okay, so we got rid of all of the... We got rid of the anglerfish, so we don't need to worry about it. We have two research parts. I did actually... I was starting to work on that troll net. I really should have saved my bits. All right, whatever. Uh, so we're going to just work on the fathomless winch. Because if I can get that, then we get abyssal, hadal, and oceanic, which means we're covered on the rod side of things. Yeah, never played Persona, just played Shin Megami Tensei and Light. Does Persona have the same grind for demons? Yep, pretty much. I think um there's there's a little bit of like passive bonuses to do with your social links. Uh that are kind of every monster fits into a couple of categories. And as such, if you have like your social link higher for certain monsters, it like increases their availability or makes them easier to catch or something like that. Maybe that exists in Shin Megami Tensei, but I, I never got really far. I played whatever the most recent one was, because they had sent me a copy, and I was like, I don't really like this, but that's mostly because I got killed really early, and had to reload like 10 minutes back. You know what? I'm just going to toss the urchins. There's no way these things are worth money. Like, I'll take the one that's in my inventory. Oh god! Medusa Ocu o Ocupus. Octopus. Eight snapping mouths crawl over each other at the behest of a silent master. Ooh. Oh, I really like this. I think if we ever get a sequel for this game, what would make me the happiest is if the um if the fish were 3D. Oh. How much is this worth? Ten bucks. Yeah, it's super not worth them. Ooh, and yeah, that was worth a lot. The corrupted fish are so cool. And it's part of the reason, like, I love how they're illustrated, and I think they look great. But boy, imagine if you actually, like... Okay. What if fishing game, like this, but you're not selling the fish the fishmonger for sales. You're actually, like, collecting specimens to put into a aquarium. Um, at the best of a bunch of, kind of, uh, occult, uh, occult researchers. You're looking for... Uh, Secret occult lore and also creepy fish and some other stuff. I don't know. I think that would be absurdly good. Oh, we should go check to see if she's got a research part in stock. She probably doesn't. I've probably tapped it out. I just want to have an eldritch aquarium, alright? I think that would be the coolest thing ever. And my friend who really likes fish would probably be kind of upset seeing it. Yeah, corrupted fish give you so many ideas for uh, D and D monsters. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I need to play D and D again. The problem is figuring out when and how, because I was originally like kind of eyeballing Sundays for like, oh, oh. Let's stay away. Wait, oh gosh, that's just one of its tentacles hanging out right there. Um, I think I'm safe to go for this. As long as I don't extend too far. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. God, that scared the shit out of me. Whew! That hurt, too. We lost, uh... Eh, we lost some fish, whatever. I was like, maybe I'll be fine. I'm on the periphery, and the answer is... Oh, Murder Tentacle says no. Well, I pay for the repairs. At least we didn't lose the sa Savage Barracuda. Okay, so we want to do shipyard. Yeah, that, that sucker did two damage to me and would have done more if I'd stuck around. Uh, I know with D&D, if you're the DM, one time you're always the DM, rather want to play yourself. I mean, I don't even really mind one way or another. I think my main thing is just... uh. Every D&D &D campaign I've started in the last couple of years has almost universally ended because we get like two or three sessions in and then somebody has to like go or is busy or we have to take like a couple weeks off because of the holidays or something else is going on and then it's gone like 
the campaign is dead and not coming back and nobody wants to put time into it. Because whatever, like, free day that we had carved out has now been eaten by something else. And it's a little rough. Because... Like, D&D is one heck of a commitment. Unless you do, like, a West Marches campaign, I know about that. And so that's probably going to be my solution eventually. I just need to get to the point where I can start being like, Hey, D&D. Uh, but I keep deciding to, like, do weird things that actually work out or change stuff. Just sleep. No reason to do anything. I think I might want to go out to the other islands briefly. Uh, to see if I can find one more research part. Because I don't think I'm going to find it here. I say as I see some salvage. If we're lucky. Nah, it's just valuables. I mean, might still be worth it. But yeah, let's, let's go look for some other salvage spots that might have... Uh, might have what I'm looking for. I guess if I look for sunken ships. They're not uncommon. Here. I think this is metal bits. Yeah, this is scrap metal. We do actually need scrap metal. We burnt through all of ours. I'll we'll get a little bit more. The worst big, big bad evil guy is D D scheduling. If my ideal eventually is, I don't mind DMing. Uh, I actually rather like DMing. I don't mind doing all that prep work. My big issue is I don't like doing the scheduling. So if I can have one player that handles all the scheduling for me, uh, so I can just focus on making the campaign as good as possible, that's like the primo way I could envision it happening. Uh, but I actually need, uh, need to get to that point and also have the right players for it. I know whenever I bring this up, I get like a, a billion people being like, I'd be in your campaign, I'd handle that stuff. And the answer is like, yeah, kind of, but... Uh... It's hard to play D&D &D with people I don't know that well. You might know me, but the reverse is rarely true. And even then, like, the people that I know online, uh, it's still nice to kind of keep that division. Because uh, you break down the, uh, the wall too much and it starts getting weird. Yeah, it's on super parasocial. Yup. So is this game new? Yes, it came out uh, a couple couple days ago. A couple days ago, I think it came out on Thursday. Okay. Well, this is a bad place. Actually, is it? No, because here's the thing: we can just warp home. Oop. A DM and my wife arranges when and where. When we got married, we both had D20s on our suit and dress. Oh, that's cute. I'd love to get Shell to do that, but she's got a lot of other things kind of on her list uh, to do. Let's just put this away. Oh, right. We also have a fish. Uh, let's just grab our valuables because we might as well go dip it off. I'm going to grab the Sapphire Ring. I don't think at this point it has any kind of quest merit. And maybe we can buy it back? I have no idea. We should probably also find that, you know, island with the DLC. That I have apparently been disregarding this entire time. Much to somebody, or multiple somebody's chagrin. Uh, oh, you know what we should probably also do is sell the Peculiar Engine and the Hydraulic Rod now that I'm going to be replacing them. Oh, I this is the DLC? Oh, is it just the workshop? Oh. Oh. Sign of Ruin. Uh, okay. And the arterial engine is actually just worse, unfortunately. Bony blades of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsating heart beats in time with your own. 
I didn't realize that the workshop was just the DLC DLC zone. Well, I can safely say that that was meaningless, but it's fine. And no buyback, but also not a quest item. That's good. Okay, right. I was going to go over here for the time being. Air social relationships aside, I'm still happy my Noida Deer was noticed midstream and used for the modded series. The most I'd ask for. That was... That was... Uh, that was such a good... Like... I don't know. I want to say like an amusing little thing. I, I love mods where I can reskin my characters. But I think that level... I don't want to say that level of like parasociality is fine. That kind of like give and take between uh, creatives and like the interplay between modders and streamers. Like, that's cool. I like that. But it would be weird if... Um, I've had this happen. It'd be weird if you suddenly started trying to use that to, like, get into my good graces so you could, like, be on a video with me. Because uh, I've done that a couple of times now, and it, it, it went okay. It didn't go that great. And it's one of those where it's like, I like having that barrier now. Um, unfortunately, that means to some degree I'm kind of locked to either interacting with people that, like, don't know me as a streamer at all, or, like, don't interact with me as a streamer, or people that are also streamers, so I have that... Uh, is that a... Uh, that's a new one. Is it coming back? Oh, it's coming back! And not the modder. Oh, it's Anonis! You changed your... Uh, sorry. You changed your username and it's throwing me off. Uh, it's, yeah, swapped to my proper channel. Got it. Well, I mean, it's fine. I, that was an absolutely fantastic piece of fan art, though. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes and his words blur with the waves crashing around you. Are you okay? If you see fog shapes, resist. Careful. Nightmares. You stumble past him into town. <laughs> Is the warning system of... Hey, dude, maybe go bed. And I'm like, no. All right, let's go bed. <laughs> well, I'm still losing my shit. Oh, well. Oh, is this what the rune does? Does it just make me crazy as a coconut always? <laughs> oh, okay. We're in for some times. So, clearly what this DLC is, is this is the streamer DLC. This is the, this game was starting to get kind of ho-hum, and now I want to turn on chaos mode. But yeah, fan art, fan art is honestly my favorite part. Uh, favorite parasociality? As weird as, weird as it is. Well, despite the fact that, uh, I slept for about an hour, uh, I seem to be regaining my sanity pretty quick here, actually. Like, there's something actually really charming about fan art. Which, I mean, it makes sense. Somebody actually, uh, was interested in putting the time and effort into making something to celebrate something that I've, I've done. Um, or just me. And, like, that's cool. Okay. All I need is one research part, game. Come on. Give me the good stuff. Otherwise, I'm just going to grab a lot of lumber. I know we're going to need it for some shipwright work. Hey, cloth. I think we we're like totally out of that stuff. We're getting kind of close to the end of the upgrade tree even. Oh, hey, that's what I was looking for. I knew it was a chance. I just had to find it. Ah. <laughs> Though the interesting case uh, for you, Anonis, 
uh, seeing as you're hanging around, at least for the moment, is every time I see your name go by, I'm like, I really need to go back and finish Lobotomy Corporation. And it's become this, like, weird reminder of, I need to go, like, fight that white whale. But, gosh, it's long. Alright, let's actually sleep. You play Project Moon games? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Lobotomy Corporation and Library of Ruina. Uh, whenever I finish them, will probably very much go on my, like, best games of all time list. Uh, I just need to actually beat them. Have I played Limbus Company yet? I haven't played Biscuits from that company. I want to finish Library... or Lobotomy Corporation. Uh, and I refuse to even touch any of their other games first. Uh, because I know it's not that big of spoilers or anything like that, but it just, it feels like cheating to skip ahead that much. Uh, honestly, though, like, if these YouTube streams actually work out, I would not mind, uh, potentially having some filler, uh, like, Project Moon games. I remember watching you play Jenny LeClue. That was a good game. I really enjoyed it. And then the developers are like, don't play anymore. And I'm like, okay. And I have not gone back. They didn't want people to, like, spoil it, which makes sense considering what kind of game it is. But it was a little unfortunate for me because I was like, oh, I'm having a good time with this one. And they're like, yep, nope, don't ca go past the first hour ever. And it's like, oh, sure. All right. Don't don't blame the devs for that one. Like, they, they very much were uh, protecting their work. All right, so now we can fish in the deeps. Limba says very little in common. Oh, I'm sure. I just also know that, like, if I play it, it'll make going back to Lobotomy Corporation feel worse. Because I really liked the uh, the gameplay from Library of Arena. Uh, Lobotomy Corporation, I find, is an ex uh, exercise in frustration for me. <laughs> Still waiting and please, yeah. Ah, thumbnail I made for your lobotomy core playthrough is one of my favorite pieces to show off to others. That's really cool. Okay, so we just needed one more scrap bit. If you want to stream on YouTube, do more co-op shell uh streams with Shell. Yeah, when we get the chance. But uh, she's writing scripts right now. And I will admit I will be a little bit of a opportunist with this. Um, that many of the games that I will be streaming on this platform will probably be ones that, like, have just come out kind of recently. That the older games are going to be a little bit more, um, sparing, if only because I have so many other things that I gotta cover. Uh, so, like, this upcoming week, it's, how oh, is it called? Raven's Watch? I think it's called Raven's Watch is coming out, and that's... That looks really good, so I might do, like, a stream of that. Either that or Magical Mixture Mill, which I think is also coming out this this week. Like, there's a there's a couple of new games that I would also like to stream uh, to a larger degree. And so old games might have to be one of those that I go back to. Um, when I specifically... I <laughs> almost didn't put in the refined metal like a fool. Uh, older games might be something I go back to when I'm actually in a lull. So I wouldn't be surprised if, like, fall roll... Uh, not fall. June. June is usually a really bad month for new releases, so that might be kind of like a weird month where I try and go back to some things. Also, I need 1500 for this. Ouch. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the ship right. Because I have some things to sell. Because we've got my old hydraulic rod, which I don't need. The peculiar engine, which I cannot get rid of. That's interesting. Uh, my improved troll net, which we might as well hold on to. And the sinew, sinew spindle, which I'm going to sell back. And then also the sampling device, which I guess I have to discard. Well, that's fine. Get out of here. All right. So we don't have quite enough money for those parts, but we can now go back to the abyssal area comfortably and get what I need. See, I'm funny. Uh, it's funny I'm saying this since I'm currently drawing some textures for a tail. Hey, that's cool. I'm glad to hear you're still drawn. I, <laughs> I remember. Gosh, 
even just years ago, I was like, I will be sad if, uh, if you stop doing art for any reason, because the work you do is so good. Ugh. 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 Baggy skin perforated with countless cavities. A singular, shapeless mass spreads underneath. <laughs> oh, that is, that is not a good fish. That is, in fact, a very bad fish. Right, there was some kind of deep chunker over here. I might have missed him, though. I think it might have gotten a little late. Ah, shoot. Where am I? I'm going the right direction. Alright, now time to brave the abyss. Okay, we should probably go to the speed. You will not catch me, Eldritch Whores. He might catch me. I don't know. I know there's like an actual ghost ship out here. Not like a little tugboat thing, but like something much, much bigger. I think it might have noticed me. Oh well. Whee! I'm far enough away. Alright, time to lose our shit. And catch some weird squids. What's the worst that could happen, right? Go for the trophy, go for the trophy. Yes. And it's depleted. Alright. I should probably get over to the research thing. I'm sure there's more stuff I could do here, but I might as well just go to bed. Boop. Let's see. Oh, let's go back. Okay, well, let's just sleep till morning. I don't think we found any new fish for her. Let's just go and sell stuff and do whatever. Ah, my favorite sentence. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Hey! What's the worst that could happen is, like, the best sentence for inviting fun disaster. Like, I'm sure on a practical level, it's inconvenient. But on a content level, oh, it's it's good stuff to invite that level of chaos. Ugh. Ugh. Blood snapper. Blood leaks endlessly from under its scales, pooling beneath, beneath it no matter where it's placed. Ugh. Ugh. I would legitimately, I, to go back to the D&D thing, I would legitimately love to do, like, a weird D&D fishing campaign, but I have no idea how that would work. See, quick question, are you planning on finishing Terra Nil? Yes, I will probably do a Terra Nil stream after this one is done, unless something else is, like... I don't want to say, like... Taken precedence? Uh... But I only, I only need to do, like, one more stream of it. I could actually come back later tonight for a, a second stream. But I think Shell would want to spend some time with me, so I probably won't. Uh, one of the one of the big frustrations I have as a content creator is, specifically, YouTube will only send out three notifications per day. So I'm kind of hard-locked to two to three videos. And if I screw up at all... Um, If I screw up at all, uh, whatever, like, third or, or whatever fourth thing I do is, uh, let's see, is effectively sunk. And I'm not going to say not worth doing, but the, the inherent value of it is, uh, is heavily reduced to the point where, like, it wasn't worth trying. Uh, so, a couple weeks ago, I did, like, the first couple minutes without commentary, and so I, like, decided to do another, uh, like, restart the stream, and that was a mistake. Because, mm. uh, yeah, effectively, YouTube was like, well, we know you screwed up, and that was only a couple minutes long, but we sent out the notification, so, uh, that you're out. It's like, oh, thank, thank It'd be nice if I could, like, almost reset the total or do a bunch of other stuff. I don't do notifications. 
I'm, most people don't, but enough people do that if I don't have the notifications, it's notable how much worse it does. Um, and so I, I try to be very specific um, with how I... I try to be very specific with, with how I, like, engage with YouTube's algorithms. Because uh, effectively, how would I describe it? I think for the last X number of years, I very much was fighting against what the algorithms for YouTube, like, how they worked. I was fighting against them because I could. There weren't a whole lot of limitations. Uh, but now that they've ceded so much control away from stuff like search engine optimization and given it much more heavily over to stuff like um, machine learning that, like, actively tries to predict what you want... Uh, stuff like search results aren't nearly as worthwhile anymore. I was going to go over to this thing so I could uh, turn on the generator, but now my hold is full and it's getting dark. So I should just try that again tomorrow. Uh, but I kind of burnt myself out on doing like way too many YouTube videos back in 2020 through 2022. Uh, and after a certain point, realize that, like, yeah, YouTube doesn't actually even support this kind of content anymore. To the point where I'm, uh, my content is being actively suppressed. Uh, I, let's see. Uh, oh, did I discard that? Eh, whatever. It probably wasn't worth that much anyway. Okay, so let's go over here. Does she sell? No. What I want is another jet engine. These are just so easy. Oh, I guess I could have actually kept that last one. Oh, it's fine. Let's see, how many things left to collect for the collector guy? Two. Three? Three, I think. That's why the search engine on YouTube sucks. For topics you want to watch repeatedly. Yep. Yeah, and so, like, I could kind of try and fight it some more. But I'd rather, I'd rather give in and use my time, like, wisely. Uh, and do the things that I want to do, rather than, like, trying to fight against the current. I don't want to, like, I, I'm not giving up or anything like that on the channel. And I'm not going to start, like, shilling weird underwear while making strange meme reaction videos. But if it's clear that there's a better path for me than the one that I had been taking, then I'd rather change course and actually make it work uh, for me than trying to force the old way of doing things. Uh, if that makes way more sense. So, like, right now, streaming on, on YouTube, like, it's super clear people actually really like this and are showing up in large, uh, like, a much larger quantity than I thought. Uh, so how far am I in this game? I'm most of the way done with the... Nope, I'm not fishing these fish. I'm most of the way done with the... Stellar Basin, I think. If you did start shilling weird underwear, I think that'd be the funniest merch you could sell. I think if it was merch that I made, like if I was coming up with weird underwear designs, I actually think that would be fine. But I'm, I'm talking more of like the, the strange, almost kind of infomercial style underwear that a lot of other YouTubers will potentially promote. And maybe that stuff is fine. I've heard from a couple of friends that they actually wear, uh, wear whatever brand that is. I just don't care to promote it myself. You know, if I'm going to be, oh gosh, gulper eel is terrifying. Uh, if I'm going to be promoting anything, I'm going to be promoting the video games that I'm playing. And luckily, and this is like a huge thing for me. Oh, snailfish is so cute, and it's dead now. Uh, let's let's get one of everything before I go too far. Because as much as I'd like to grab all of this stuff, we want to grab whatever the heck this thing is. Ah, it's the jewel encrusted band, a golden band large enough to fit around a child's waist. All manner of gemstones are affixed to it, seemingly at random. Yeah. I want to just snag all the research materials before we do anything else. Oh, this is amphipods again. And these are snailfish. I don't, I don't actually know where the other fish is. I don't know if it's going to be in this area. We might have to do this one more day, but 
That's fine. That's gonna be cool if you got a sponsorship from Aftershocks. Ooh. Yeah, you're right on that one. I, and, you know, there's actually a couple of these that I wouldn't mind reaching out to them being like, Hey, can I get some more of your products so I can shill them? Because, like, I already use it. And I think that would be a good way of specifically... Oops. Uh, it'd be a good way of me showing off, like, cool stuff that I've gotten or products that I do use. Though I do actually have quite a number of things that I still need to shill out in some way, shape, or form. So, like, the developers of Endless Space sent me a graphic novel that I should probably take a look at and do some kind of video on. Because, oh, no, we should probably go to the researcher. Because other otherwise I'm accidentally going to sell... Um, I'm going to accidentally sell one of the fish that I need and I'm going to feel like a fool. Yeah, the reason I got them, too, just from my dad. They're super nice. Like, I really like them. The only... Oh, could the fish only be available at night? We'll go back. It's still making noise. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so... Oh, it even, like, wiggles. I feel bad. Probably worth a lot of money. Okay, so yeah, we gotta find the loose jaw. Abyssal. Uh, wait, hold up. Just don't let me forget that gulper eel. Horror that it is. So either this thing is going to be here. That's the octopus. Okay, and it sounds... It sounds like Mean Boy is back to his usual roost. So I think we gotta go hit the machine again. Um, but yeah, I, I very much would love to be in the position where I'm specifically only shell shilling for the things that I, I like or use already. Uh, so, and I kind of already am, you know, my original first video on this was sponsored. Uh, so when I started playing, um, uh, when I started playing Dredge just for that, that episode one on YouTube, it was, it was paid. You know, Team 17 had been kind enough to reach out for that. And that's really cool for me because I effectively can just do the thing that I was going to do anyway, but get some extra money. And it puts me in this really nice position where, uh... Uh, you're not the cursed one. It's a nice position where effectively I'm not I'm selling out, but I'm not selling out without actually compromising any of my morals. Ugh. Waiting in dormancy for its moment to arrive. Okay, we should probably switch to this though. What I want to find out is giant amphipods again. I almost wonder if the creature I'm looking for isn't in this area. I might be fine. It's octopi. Pods. Sailfish again. Yeah, so I bet this sucker is actually out in the ocean. So in that case, I can just fish as much as I want. Yeah, so what I want to do is actually fish these boyos. Oh, it's just more of the same. Oh, it's fine. I don't know how much these guys are worth, but if they're worth a lot, then cool. A VTuber won't happen, uh, a VTuber wonder won't happen because of evil people. I mean, honestly, uh, to go back to the whole, like, uh, me being put off by people being, like, weirdly rude or mean, it's something that I keep intending to, uh, actually sit down and do. There it is. Uh, to, to commit to make, either making a VTuber model Oh. Oh, that's new. Stole my snailfish? You scum! No. Aha! You cannot touch me. I'm in the store. Everything okay? You've been standing there for a while. 
Need to have a rest? Okay, so how much are these worth? 43 a pop. That was some good money right there. Oh, use your horn against the birds. Thank you. That is actually kind of useful. Uh, alright. Well, I could sleep. But, I, you know, I'm perfectly fine being crazy as a coconut. They were stealing some of my fish. But, eh, whatever. Okay. Oh, right. We've still got to sell that boyo. Otherwise, things go bad. How much is this guy worth? Gulper eels. Worth a lot. That's worth a lot. If you're insane, the NPCs notice. Yep. I think that's a really neat touch. This game has a lot of those small details, and I like it. Unfortunately, the crab pots here aren't giving me a whole lot of good things. Like, the crown of thorns are kind of mediocre. I guess we'll pick up this one. Might have been able to get the other one, too. Now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever. Well, the quest fish. Uh, no? <sighs> unless, unless the gulper yields a quest fish for a different one. I think you could crab pot the basin. Mm, maybe. Oh! Okay, so apparently, if you're crazy enough, that sucker just comes out of nowhere anyway. I guess I could have speed boosted, but I was just baffled by the fact that that was even coming. But yeah, that, that eel most definitely was not for the researcher. That was for something else. Uh, I think that one's just for money. Oh, is a quest for fish, but you don't need to turn it in. I also know where to get more of them. But also, hmm. please, please don't tell me that. When we get to the point where I need one, cool. I'm also not sure if the any of those like traitor characters are still alive. Oh, oh, for oh, it's for her. Sorry, I was thinking of the weird robed people. The the ones that are like creepy and starve to death if you don't feed them fast enough. Who I've pretty much exclusively let starve so far. Yeah, we'll just go find another gulper eel. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, fish cultists. Whatever those guys are. I know they give you something kind of maybe useful, but... The fact that they can starve to death offends me. On a... It's like in a weird way, because it, it's not that big of a deal, but it's kind of annoying that... Uh, I have to worry about timed quests. Yeah, that's anglerfish. That's something I haven't seen before. That's a twister. Yeah, did Wander finish the shark statue thing? I have not actually. I'm I'm still missing something. Okay, barrel eye. Is that one of the weird fish with the like transparent bubble over its face? I guess I should stop doing this. I don't want to be out here too late. I'm mostly looking for variety, things to add to the encyclopedia. Oh, there was something there. I don't think that's it, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Because this far out, if I'm actually losing my mind, I'm going to start running into some problems. Viper fish. Neat. Okay. Anybody else? I wonder if that's almost like a tuna kind of deal. A viper fish, angler fish. Where was it? Is it that? Okay. Yeah, I just want to fill out my encyclopedia at the moment, just so I know where I can get, or what I can get and where. I would love it if these things were actually added to the map after a certain point. Oh. 
Blackfin tuna. Looks kind of small, doesn't it? All right, so we're just going to warp back. And yeah, you're right. I could have actually teleported back at any time. There are minimal consequences for that. So let's just um put him in the storage for the time being and give this guy his due. You walk in and place the jewel encrusted ring on a on a table by the collector. His eyes widen. <sighs> We're certainly making excellent progress now, and I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, your due a reward. He opens a crimson book, its spine crackling audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. Banish. Fire off a blazing light that dispels and protects. Ooh. You hear growling, crackling in your ears. Suddenly, your vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. And imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silly muck of the Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investi investigating. I'll mark the map on your... Uh, mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? And cool. And uh, no. Let's see, wonder would you enjoy Brutal Orchestra? I actually did cover Brutal Orchestra um a little after launch. Oh, that's a problem. And I actually thought it was a rather neat game. Unfortunately, I don't remember the video doing particularly well. Oh, we, we got to get back. At least the only thing that's really expensive is the hammerhead. The lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock, wearing a questioning expression. You must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? Almost. She shifts her weight and leans hard against her staff. How can you be so sure the last time you thought you knew? And look what happened. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. Okay, storage. Hammerhead shark is big. Sell it before it gets infected with... Oh, gosh, that's a lot of goop. Well, enjoy it, weirdo. Uh, let's see. And rest. Blackfin are actually about that size. Giant tuna you see and eat are bluefin. Oh, really? Huh. Didn't know that. So what am I missing? Wood, scrap, two cloth. We might want to work on that. Because I know we can get some wood around here, and then we can go back to that other island to get a little bit more, too. I could also get a shark. Got it. Yeah, how much more are you going to cover dredge? Yeah, one to two streams, give or take. It really depends on how lucky or un unlucky I am with this. Um, and, like, how fast and how distracted I get. Because there is all sorts of stuff that I can do that I am sure I'm going to miss. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, I don't think it's going to matter if I, like, don't see all the secrets. And maybe we can do that later as, like, a final stream or something else or a bonus. Yeah, crabbing is great passive income. I kind of like the fishing, though. The like, crabbing feels almost too disconnected. I'm constantly just being slightly annoyed by the presence of... Um, uh, by the presence of sea urchins. Maybe I'm just fishing in a bad spot, but still. If I manage to fill Shark Rock... No, I'm actually still missing one thing. I thought it would be the octopus, but clearly it ain't. Which, like, go figure, it ain't, it ain't an octopus. I guess if we want more of this stuff, we could go back to that first island chain and see if we can find some bits there. I was hoping this would have... Uh, like a lumber spot and a cloth spot as well, because those are the things that I need. But, alas. Boy, this is like a lot of scrap, though. Sweet. I get the other shrines. Uh, shark, shark shrine is the third that I found. I got the, uh, is it cod? I got the cod one. I got the... Let's see. I got the cod one, I got the crab one. And now I'm onto the sharks. 
Oh, the rune increases the chance to find mutants. That would explain why I've been finding so many mutants lately. Oh, can I... can I fit another one of these boyos? Yes, I can, but that's pretty much it. Unless I can find myself some... Cloth. I wonder if you can actually echolocate with that. Like the horns in the fog. Could I actually find something interesting by following the noise? No. Oh. Good boy! Aha! Oh. Okay, so it makes me very crazy. Yeah, that makes me very crazy, but it keeps the critters away. I don't like that sound effect at all. But I was curious to try uh, banishing a thing. How am I enjoying Dredge? I mean, I, I've said it a couple of times today, and we'll keep saying it. This very much is going to be one of my favorite games out of this year. I I don't think it would do would be able to do anything to really turn me off at this point. I guess there's a couple of things if game like really wanted to like heal face turn into being the worst game ever, but that's like super uncommon. I've had it happen in a couple of games where I'm just kind of like, oh, why would you do that? But it's uncommon. Unfortunately, this is a three spotter, so we're going to need a bigger ship if I want to get that one. But I'm sure it'll be good. Uh, good lights. Okay, so here's the question. Would... It was like a very chill playthrough. Once, uh, one addition to my library, if I had been 15, I'd be playing it right now. The current price might wait for a sale later on. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I... Steam sales have gotten so... freaking generous. I mean, I guess they've been generous since forever. Like, even, even back in the era of, um... The actual, like, daily deals and the winter festival sales where where you actually had to, like, um, hustle if you wanted to get the, uh, the best deal. But, like, now it's just, you wait a year or two for certain games and you pretty much can get it, uh, for, what, 25% off, if not way, way lower than that. It gets absurd how cheap you can get games. But I would recommend picking it up whenever you actually uh, have the time and the spare funds for it, because this is, this is real good. Do I have any more books to read? Sadly, no. Aha! I don't actually know if that can harm me. But well, my crab pots are going to be in a state, aren't they? Oh well. Hmm. What's this guy worth again? 130. Oh, that's good. But yeah, I think I'm completely out of books. Yeah, I gotta complete some more quests to get them. So it can't actually damage you. Okay, good. I was like, well, time to find out with risky, risky driving. Now I had a lot of luck finding some goodies out here. And I know there's wrecks. I'd prefer to stay away from the interior, just because that one th dude... What the hell noise was that? Oh, it's a whale! Whale! Did I actually blast that open? I did. Uh, let's see, I know there's some shipwrecks here, but yeah, let's head for the waterfall first. It'd be funny if it was possible to fish the giant monsters. I actually kind of wish that was very much a thing you could do in this game. Like, the game starts with you being small and inconsequential and uh, incapable of dealing 
with the uh the worst sea beasts and by the end of it yeah you really can just harpoon like that giant sail sailfish that is just pure murder I'm really bad at it, but I think... Oh, God, or fish. <laughs> He's got, like, a stupid hairdo. A splendorous crested sea, crested sea serpent. The length of its massive body catches the light, shimmering with iridescence. There's a game where you can do that. Is that the, um... Is that the Final Fantasy, uh, 15? Like, VR fishing game? A Dredge was a great game. I finished it today. Thanks, Wander, for recommending it. Hey, no problem. I am so glad to hear so many people have picked this up, too, and have been enjoying it just as much as I have. Okay, so we are looking for... I guess we don't want to do too much. I don't want to go... I don't want to go crazy town here. We don't really need this stuff. Because we've got kind of enough metal scrap. So I'll probably stop there. I'm looking for everything else. And it is not for forthcoming. Oh, that's unfortunate. That fish? Oh yeah, those are eels. Huh. I wonder if the protective pulse will ward off a uh, munch beast. Oh hey, I'm crazy enough to actually read this. Have I read this one? Okay. Oh, this is yeah. This is just the lore for my current uh, the current local monster. I guess we should find out where those, um, where the rocks are for the next island chain and get super crazy there too. Because I'd love to read the, the lore for the deep beast. The, uh, oh, the Sarlacc. Okay. There we go. Got all that. Do you want to know where? No, I think I know where where it is. I just uh, have to actually go grab it. The way oarfish swim is hilarious. They swim normally, but they tend to just orient themselves vertically, face sticking up towards the ocean surface. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so we want to talk to her. Okay, rare fish she wanted. Found an ore fish. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, I'm sure you'll get some use out of it. Wait. Oh. Gulper eel. I don't actually have to give it to her. That's great news. Add it to my re records. Yeah, so I can still sell the fish. Well, that's convenient. See a sucker... Yeah, she just wanted the info. She didn't want the fish. Yeah, somebody was like, you sold the quest fish. And I was like, oh yeah, so I did. But it turns out that I was the one who did the right thing. They were leading me astray. Okay, so we want to grab this. Very soothing background noise uh, while doing real life uh, series circuit homework. I have been told by a great many people recently that I have a perfect ASMR voice, which, uh, yeah. Yeah, I put myself to sleep. What was I? Oh, I was editing one of my video essays. And I was, I was, it was taking forever because I was trying to finish it. And I like actively had trouble staying awake listening to my own voice i don't think she has anything useful a new light which would be nice but i don't have space for it we really just got to find that cloth spot well i see a couple places no that's got fish 
All right, let's, um, I mean, considering I'm absolutely out of my gourd, let's just find the unfriendo and see if the protective ward. Aha! Be gone, jerk face. Yeah, I don't like that static. It's a, well, it's a fuse. But it does ward him off. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't have what I'm looking for, though. So I am, I guess I'm just going to continue wandering around mad as a cookie looking for things. Uh, unfortunately, no loot on that one. I guess we could also take a moment. Grab the spyglass. Do we have any, like, weird fish that I haven't seen before? Because there's, like, some fish right there, but it's not showing it to me. Probably because it's kind of stormy. Yeah, this is that tiger mackerel. Oops. Nope. Hey, here's a question. What if I... Oh, it's on cooldown. Dang. I wonder if I use the protective move on him. Would he, like, freak out further? Because it sounds like he'd be pretty unhappy. I mean, he sounds pretty unhappy no matter what, but... I wonder if I'd be able to make him more unhappy... by, uh, hitting him with a protective ward in the face. Well, he is functionally static as far as I can tell. Eh. I know I've got this on the easier difficulty, but it is still satisfying fishing those up. Mad as a cookie? I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. If you're, like... If you're losing it, especially in, like, one of these video games and your character is just out of his gourd, you could say mad as anything and it would still make sense. Because, like, for whoever you are in that moment, of course you're mad as a blank. You thought you could make me mad? Farewell! How wild would it be if it actually, like, brought you way off course? If you were insane. Do I need to worry about that here? Can he reach me? I have no idea. Maybe. Mad as bunt cakes. Okay. Well, let's just sell whatever. It's a nice, clean 500. And then... Yeah, we still don't have that cloth. I think I'm just gonna head back towards the, um... The island chain. We'll see if we can find... Whatever that... Weird fish that I still need. Whose name I don't remember. I'm going to try and keep an eye out for cloth spots, but that's that's metal salvage. Yeah, cloth spots and wrecks. What I'm looking for. Oh, we had a lot of research parts. I probably should use that. Yeah, loose jaw. It's probably out here somewhere at night. But I'm not entirely sure. It's the one just with the dude hiding in the shallows. I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? Oh, yeah, we're going to the Trist Twisted Strand. Hey, thank you, Garf Garfield, for the 11, uh, 11 New Zealand. What is the New Zealand's dollar called? I don't think I've ever actually checked that one or know that one. Uh, let's see. First time watching your stream. What's this game about? Fil fishing for Eldritch Horrors. I mean, totally normal fish. Uh... It is. I'm not I'm not much of a fishing game fan, but this one's super cool. Because yeah, I'm just exploring and looking for things and dolphins. Actually Oh. This might be a Nope, still the black fins. I think it is literally just called the New Zealand dollar. Huh. 
Cool. Let's see. Do you look like... No. Is this like a mola mola? Oh, it's an ocean sunfish, which might also be called a mola mola. I'm not entirely sure. There's a big dude. I love these guys. Though the giant... This giant is the heaviest known bony fish in the world. Its slow unarmored body is vulnerable to sharp teeth and hungry jaws. I... I feel real bad for fish. Just... In general. Like, I don't know. I They're kind of big and they're kind of dumb. And they're kind of brutal. Um... But I think because of that, I just have always felt slightly bad for fish just as a rule. Because they are they they have, like, no means of avoiding us. I mean, they kind of maybe do. Uh, nope, that's the fang tooth. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's the red stuff. I figured it would be out in the bay or something rather than back in. And I was right! Oh, it actually looks almost kind of cute, but not really. With red searchlights below its eye, below its eyes, this predator hunts with needle-like teeth. Stomach can expand to hold prey larger than itself. Ugh. But now we got the boy. I would describe a game with a normal fisherman that gets isekai'd into H.P. Lovecraft's story, but with less racism. I appreciate the less racism part. We picked up, uh, I, mean, I don't know. I We picked up the collected works of H.P. Lovecraft because uh, there was a sale at Barnes & Noble for like 50% off. And I was like, oh, yeah, sure. I might as well actually read some Lovecraft someday. Uh, oh. Perished loose jaw. A few ragged scraps of skin hang like cobwebs from its fins. Its exposed muscles are riddled with small white worms. Ew. I love the lore for this game. Like it did they they did not need to put these little lore entries in, but the game is so much better as a result. I wonder if she would react if I gave her one of the really cursed fish. Mola Mola are actually that slow. They're capable of accelerating fast enough to beach, breach water. Oh, they're not slow. Mostly know this because one particularly passionate rant I saw once. Huh. That has a lot of jet engines. Yeah. I figured it would make my, uh, my boating easy if I just stack nothing but jet engines the entire way through. Okay. What if I handed her the bone one? I'm like, here, here's the really cursed version. I have good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Bad news. Bad news is that the samples you retrieved from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. Yeah, I could have told you that much. I found a literal undead one. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. It all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to the to life at a cellular cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report on my findings. Sorry, our findings. Immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me, and I don't have much to say thank you with. Uh, you should have this. Book? Plan for the future! She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem to be safe near the basin. And it looks like we're done with this region. I mean, I guess, unless I wanted to lose my mind and mess around. Because I know there's that old sunken ship that maybe we can interact with. Aw, oh, don't tell me that they're... Don't do that! Do... Ah! <laughs> Why would... Ah! <laughs> hey, Cryoris, you want to give uh, that person a smack, maybe? Maybe not. Do not roll in to say that you just got done done with uh, blank. If somebody has not finished, uh, if somebody has not finished the game, don't even talk about what the ending might be like. That is 
That is really not good. Holy smokes, this thing, uh, hoovered up a heck of a lot of fish. Get out of here, urchin. All my talk on spoilers, and of course, probably because, uh, my stream's ranking kind of high. Of course I'm gonna get some major spoilers today. Yeah, don't, don't do that. My bad. You know what you did. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Even knowing the presence of, like, multiple endings isn't that big of a deal, but it's like, but now I know, and that's something I have to worry about. Alright. Take this. Holy smoke. Oh, right. I should actually be picking these up. In retrospect. Because all of my... Well, we're done with this area. And everything needs repairs anyway. First, the devs had labeled time quests differently than others. Heard so many, so many people failing the road figures because they didn't realize. Yep, mm. I, I'm one of those people, and I'm, uh, I'm a little, little cheesed off about it. It's not that big of a deal, but it's one of those where it's like, I would have been so much happier uh, if those just lasted forever. And it would have changed literally nothing for the game, uh, in the game for me. Okay, so we want to do fish market because I still have some stuff. Okay, and we're going to rest. Okay, so storage. Yeah, it's just a small stat book, but still. Yeah, that's where I'm at. It's like, it's nothing, but it's still enough. I guess let's take a look at research. Because we, we literally do not need the harvesting station. It's a lot faster, but I don't care. Uh, we have engines, but I also kind of don't care. I guess we're looking at nets. Eighteen per day, nine by ten. Coastal and oceanic, coastal and shallow. Uh, oh, we might actually want to care about some of these. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. So what do we what do we do at this point? Oh, right, book. Plan for the future. There's an upgrade system. Okay, I'm interested in this game. Yeah. It's kind of light on the upgrades, admittedly. Uh that many of the The upgrade system is fairly linear. There's not too much too many side grades. And I personally live for side grades. You know, give me a ton of different options so I, like, really can pick my build. Uh, do I want fast and few, slow and many, uh, really quick boat, or, like, a much more durable boat? Like, I actually really wish, uh, you almost had different boat options, too. Because I'd love to have a boat that's kind of slow but can hold everything. Or vice versa. The upgrade system in terms of the engine felt like it fell, fell flat on the nose. But everything else was fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything else to find in here? Before we go. Seeing as somebody was like, go back to the research outpost. But as far as I can tell, there is nothing here. Well, alright. I guess next order of business is we head for the mangroves. Like, unless I want to stick around here while I'm crazy. The other thing is I'm going to need a shark eventually. Oh, but I wonder if it is actually like a weird mangrove shark. Yeah, there is reading the stone, which I guess I could do. We should find... Oh, is that it right there? <laughs> I almost boosted to the beach so I could try and ramp over. That looks like it. Well, here's the thing. I think I can go insane if I want to. At any point. Yeah, it's the stone. I guess we might as well fish a bunch of barracuda. It'll pass the time, get us to nightfall. There we go. And the other thing I gotta do is figure out where I can find a reliable source of cloth. 
Uh, not great. All right. Do we do a banish? Now that only bumps me up a step. Which kind of sucks. More Barracuda. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because I could have gotten a trophy there. All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can fit anything else. Because, yeah, unfortunately, my sanity recovers too quickly. So it's kind of hard to just go absolutely out of my mind. Okay, fish market. Dump fish. I have 4,000. Why am I... Why am I still fishing, period? There's no merits to me gaining this money at this point. I don't even know if there's anything for me to buy. Like, we've got this thing, and then we've got a couple of these. But I think my... Yeah, actually, no, I have enough money to buy everything everything I need for the rest of the game. We just gotta find the right materials. Well, time to go do sick flips at night. I'm probably gonna have to fish to get my sanity worse. Ugh. If this were real, the amount of money you have for the time, you could probably just sell your boat and retire. Oh, absolutely. But I think my char my character is way too committed. Like, at this point, we are a uh, Book of Hours protagonist. We may not have access to the library of whatever but like we are deep in the secrets i mean considering how many random books we seem to have devoured over the course of this hey look more octopodes all right i think at this point we are officially crazy pants but i can push it farther oh actually maybe i can't Yeah, that's my upper limit. But I'm sufficiently cra crazy. Let's read some lore. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes down your spot, uh, down through the uh, through the marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. Mind. A spore floats in the water. A drift in the current. Fish feast in a frenzy above, devouring its kin. The spore lands in the thick silt of the sea floor. Its roots stretch down into the seabed, growing, extending towards what lies beneath. Oh, so it's like a fungal colony. Yeah, it's the same lore, right? That's interesting. What? A insanity twister? You will not catch me! Okay, now there should be some rocks. No. Oh. Woo, that was a little closer than I thought it was going to be, but it's fine. The one problem with the amount of jet engines I've stra strapped to this sucker is I'm going to lose my mind otherwise. Uh, or, sorry, is... I've lost my mind. I'm going to ram some stuff by accident. Oh, well, it's fine. Okay. Well... Here's the question. If we take a look, I guess we go to the Twisted Strands. Do we do it while I'm out of my goddamn mind? Uh, sort of. I'm gonna head over to the Builder's house. None of that, you. You thought you, thought you could catch me, but I have wizardry. It'd be neat if the game had eldritch fleshy side grades that you could branch off that would uh, that required mutated fish and the like for your ship. Yeah, yeah, a little bit where finding specific fish would actually have um, major benefits. I I would even say like to the point where there's like a um, 
an eldritch. Oh, is this is the cloth? Yes. A uh, like an eldritch bookstore or something like that, where you can do like progressively. Oh, come on! I only needed one more, and this is gonna be scrap metal, which we don't need at the moment. Uh, no, these are stingrays. Uh, I fart in your general direction. It's time to head this direct, uh, this way. I guess I could have actually used the protective field, couldn't I? Oh, well. Alright, so here's the question. Does the big bad sailfish show up every time I try and attempt this? No. Maybe he shows up if you're too slow. Let's see. Pale skate. One of the deepest living species of skate. Thought to use hydrothermal vents as incubators for its egg cases. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Oh, and depleted. What about this? Is this any kind of fish or is it just a vent? Nope, just a vent. Alright, I'm just gonna fish whatever. An armored cerebin. A small fish with angular armored plates. It has, a sen it has sensory barbs under its body that help it detect prey on the seabed. Ooh, trophy. I will take my time with this one. Though really, we don't need it. Let's go. Let's go. Actually, talk to whoever's here, unless that's more cloth. It is more cloth. Yes, gives me like two research parts and some wood somehow. No, cloth, 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 cloth. Because now we can get big boat, but I know we're gonna need at least a little bit more cloth than that if we want to get the um. If we want to max this boat out. Well, must get big boat. Must be big tug. A man greets you at the dock, bracing himself against the wind and spray. <sighs> oh, rapturous day! A fresh disciple carried to me atop the waves. Come ashore, weak thing, and rest your weary soul. Uh, all right. You're right. Your arrival is providence from the deep itself. I have been calling and now you are the answer. The rite of purification is almost at hand and you are to be my replacement. I'm listening. Your trial begins immediately. Tell me what does your f spirit seek? Uh, where is fish on this? Where, where is fish? I'm mad. Why, why can I not seek fish? Mm. Mm. Emptiness. Yes, a pure vessel. Only those devoid of mortality can ascend past it. And your flesh, what does it crave? The chill of the water. I sense it in you, a glimmer of what awaits below. Finally, what does the world deserve? Nothing. Exactly, and yet it takes endlessly harvesting, draining, but soon it will know that it has taken too much. It is already too late. The trial is concluded. You still have much to learn, but that knowledge will be delivered to you in time. Now your role as my initiate is to act as the herald of the purge, just as I was for the one before me. The nearby spires... I read that as squirrels and I got confused for like a split second. The nearby spires blaze with eternal fire, yet the stone hearths of these three idols lie barren and void. Retrieve three fathomless flames from the crags behind us and ignite the crucibles. Visit the shrines of the deep. I will mark them. They will offer further guidance, and I must provide no more. All right, cool. So we got statues, stone columns, the fanatic, my storage, and... Oh, I could go to bed. Statues. What do I want to look at left? 
Holds a crucible, it's empty. Okay, there's probably not a reason for me to look at this stuff until I actually have what I need. Columns? Are carved with... Wait a second. Ooh, huh. A voice change caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm kind of decent at voice acting. But only crazy old men. <laughs> uh, swarm of small creatures. The carving shows a swarm of small creatures surrounding a blo bloat boat. The ravenous children alone they are nothing. Together they summon her. Beneath the word, someone has added crudely scratched, crudely scratched note. Do not let them grip you. Burn them away. The large eyeless beast. The carving is of a large fish with crossed out eyes. The unseeing mother. When the starving cannot eat, she approaches. Beneath these words, someone has scribbled in a cruelly, or has added a crudely scratched note. Blind, but can hear her children. Avoid at all costs. The bubbling vent. The carving shows a bubbling underwater vent. The breath of salvation. It burns those that mean harm. Only the pure remain. Beneath these words, somebody has added a crudely scratched note. Protection. Follow the magma. Find them. And some neat hints. Alright, but let's sleep until morning. And then hopefully we can find the fishing platform. I've been casting Eldritch uh, rituals on the squirrels again. Uh, isn't that, like, straight up one of the things in Psychonauts? That the, uh, squirrels there are, are actually insane? And, like, partially demonic? Uh... Hold up. I can totally get this to fit. It looks kind of vaguely sharkish, and so I was like, well, maybe this is what I've been looking for all of this while. Okay. I don't think this is going to be it. Well, no, 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 no. We're good. Okay. So is the lady that is has the fishing platform, is she here? Or am I going to have to go back? Well. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we got little speedy biteys. So that's an issue. So they grab on top onto us and we want to burn them away with the vents. Okay, she's northeast of the fanatic. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the twisted strand, not here. Oh well. Okay, is that her? Yeah, that looks like her. I can probably read these. Oh, so that that noise is Got it. Okay, fish market. Not every crab can be found at every depth. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think hundoing the crabs is gonna be annoying. I don't know how much I'm going to care to 100% all of the, uh, my fish cyclopedia. It's tempting, but I also recognize it would take a while. Tier 4. Alright, so now what do we want? Um, honestly, what we want is probably the next light, if we can. Because one more light space means potentially getting the final light. Okay, so one more light space. Let's check her. Let's check her what she's got. Because we don't need any more jet engines at the moment. We do have the large troll net, but eh. Okay, so why don't we why don't we sell this one and grab the incandescent. And then I guess I have one more light spot, so I'm going to just throw in a cloudy lens because I have nothing else. There might be like an eldritch light bulb that I can throw into the mix, but... Eh. Okay, floating dock. Which one of these... Two cargo spaces hold engines. I should probably work on this, though. 
Yeah, let's just earmark most of our resources around getting the last couple of inventory spaces. I really wish putting these in was faster. There's no reason why I have to specifically Tetris them into these spaces. It's not bad, but it's annoying. Eldritch light bulb. Now I have a mental image of Cthulhu changing a light bulb. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? Cripes, my ship got big. I don't know if it visually changed that much. It looks a little nicer. Oh, and it's... Did it get taller? I think it might have. Okay. So this is apparently the most annoying part of the game. Well, that'll be fun. Nope, that ain't it. I don't need treasure. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this the... Yeah. Stone Shrine, an upright slab bearing the carving. Two heavily plated creatures locked in battle. Lower slab holds two shallow grooves. I'm going to need to start crabbing. Damn it. Actually too fast for my own good. Also looks like we might want some explosives. Actually, we might want a lot. I'm seeing a lot of breakable walls here. They research crab pots. That's a problem. Oh. Trader and Little Morrow knows something about the stone tablet. Ooh. Eh, whatever. We got it. Whoop. I don't care that I'm mad. I now have my final shark. Yeah, technically I'm not supposed to be there yet. Yeah, which is why I'm actually going to go back to the mangroves instead. As much as I'd like to be a weird volcano cultist, uh, nah. But I'm glad to have that, that ghost shark, because I'm pretty sure that goes into the, uh, the shark statue. I'm going the right direction, right? Yeah, it's like one of the two in the back here. Yeah, so the moment you can fish abyssal, you can do everything. Oh, what are these boys? Oh, it's these guys again. I've already fished them a bunch of times, and I don't need to anymore. Being a weird cultist is usually a bad idea. And what if the what if being the cult you just worship the fish? Like, oh, what is the what was the game? Was it Call of the Sea? Shell, Shell did a series on this a long time ago. A long time ago? Like a year or two ago. Where it was the woman was like a pseudo eldritch fish woman. And was like being drawn back uh, to where she like really belonged. And. Like, despite the fact that it was kind of eldritch it was super clear, like, the fish people were just happy there. And the only, the only, like, real issue was the fact that her human husband was sad at her departure. And, like, I think that's fair. Heck is this thing? I know it's around here somewhere. Probably on the other side of this one. Human fish chimera sounds bad. Yeah. I'm gonna guess. Or is it on the other... No, it's not on the other side of the Gale Cliffs. Oh, it's that other small island.
Let's see. That's the yellow man, but I'm pretty sure the yellow man is very dead by this point. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna not think about the yellow man. Is it here? Wait, what the heck is this thing? Oh, it's just the light hitting the rock in a really weird way. It legitimately looked like it was a, um... Like a port for a boat to connect in. Or to, like, dock in. I was like, do we have, like, a secret James Bondian-esque, uh... Ooh, the frame rate got real bad for whatever reason. Like a weird, like, secret boat dock for a stealth boat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that would be kind of cool, but kind of improbable for this game. Okay, where the heck was that thing? Is this... Not on those, right? It's either on this one or we do have to... Oh, no, there it is. I must have gone straight past it. Okay, ghost shark, sometimes called the chimera. This phantom of the deep lacks teeth, the teeth of other sharks, instead of having three bony grinding plates fused to its skull. Eee, please be the right shark. It is! You slide the four sharks into the fissures, and they slip down out of sight. Moments later, you spot something rising up towards the surface of the water. Abyssal and Hadal. So... But why, though? Okay, well, we have some messages to read. Oh, I apparently have a number. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken, fog core. Five equals rise. He knows. My darling, I found you at last. When you left, I was scattered to the winds, but now I feel almost whole again. There's just one thing left to do. Throw me back. I've not written in a few days. I have been afflicted with some strange chill, which conspires to fog my brain. I cannot seem to keep warm no matter what I do. I think has run from some lines here, and they are Ill illegible. Well, most of what they hauled up was junk. They eventually came up with a large wooden casket. <sighs> a hush came over the crew at such a tantalizing discovery. I remember the next moments with excruciating clarity. He pried it open easily. The buckling boards cracked and groaned with relief as they splintered apart. Crimson cloth spilled out onto the deck. The crashing waves rose to fill my ears. I hear them still. He stared down into the open casket, then turned to me. In his eyes, I saw the void. Page has been torn off here. Yesterday, I was reading the will. Re uh, yesterday was the reading of his mother's will. Most of the remaining estate went directly to him, of course. But to my surprise, she bequeathed me her pocket watch. Curious. I'm not fond of the thing, but I know that taking it will mean a lot to him. I cannot help but feel it is some sort of veiled jab at me from beyond the grave. She was the type to do such a thing. Was I late on some occasion? I cannot recall. We're engaged to be married. He sailed out to the very center of Stellar Basin to see the lights. We talked for hours. Something we, we have not done in such a long time. Waiting and hoping. Sometime past midnight, as we were growing delirious and hysterical from the lack of sleep, the aurora shimmered into the skies above. When I turned to see his reaction, he was already down on one knee. I cannot even remember what he said, or what I said, but I know that I said yes. The ring is beautiful, with a span of jewels going right the way around. I cannot take my eyes off of it. P.S. I was not sure whether to write this under yesterday's date or today's, given that it occurred at the conjunction of days. But I feel like the that the news uh, news is significant enough to warrant spanning multiple entries. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think we're done with the islands here. Unless, of course, I want to go uh, try and feed the yellow man. But I'm pretty sure he is dead and gone. That place wasn't always tentacle infested. No, that tentacle creature only showed up and the researcher started trying to fish there. Nah, I've already fished those boyos. I'm sure there's all sorts of fish I haven't found yet. It's just kind of hard for me to go way out of my way. The shrine stuff is way underutilized. There's so many cool things they could have been done with them. 
I think that is going to be a small but consistent issue that I do have with this game. Namely, the fact that it feels like they did enough to make it a great game, but they could have gone like three steps further to make it a truly incredible one. Now, is this where the big nasty showed up? Because I thought it was when I was out here somewhere. I heard something. Nope, no idea. He's somewhere. I'm trying to see the big sailfish. I think he's over by the other other place because he shows up if you're too slow. Okay, so what did uh what did that book do? Uh it's all the way at the bottom. Why? Chance to not reduce fish stocks when catching a fish with a rod. That's not really that meaningful, is it? Oh, we're just back here. Oops. That's yeah, over there. I keep getting turned around and distracted by things. Yeah, the only elder chart effect we found so far was the crab pot. The crab pot's real good. I I don't know. I I wish there were more like weird eldritchy things that you could do. Like even enchanting stuff would be kind of wild in its own way. The smoke? Oh, that's a really big airplane. Dog tags. That noise over there. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to grab these things real quick. Because I think we're out of wood. I think the only thing we might have is metal scrap and maybe some... No, we're out of cloth. We need one more cloth, too. I think we're actually just out of everything. Because the next part's... Uh, the next thing I want to buy is kind of expensive, too. Like, that very much is a plane for uh, big people. Bigger than humans. I'm sure they probably played it up so it was bigger and more interesting looking. Okay, can I actually interact with this? Whoa, no, 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 no. Why? Longfin eel. Oh, right. I was going to fish until we got one of the really cursed ones. Yeah, I need more of everything. I just forgot that I needed more of everything. Twind eels. Uh, Endlessly pulling away, but torn apart, they would surely perish. Two spiteful siblings splitting at the seams. You can't kill me, cursed beast. Time to get back. I like the traveling trader. She's super convenient. Okay, so let's go to the... Oh, wait. Okay, good. It stopped. I was like, oh, right. Time does not pass unless I am moving. That is a problem, right? And the answer is no, it's not. All right, sell everything and then put a lot of stuff away. Oh, right. I took some damage earlier. I should probably worry about that. Oh, and when we upgraded my boat, my equipment swapped. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. So I have a research part? I guess I'm going to just grab that because it's almost done. But what I should probably do is actually... In well, no, because we don't need this. What I need is actually... Oh, we know crab pots don't care about what region you're in, maybe. Let's see, hold more before... Yeah. 
So we should probably just start saving up research parts to put into crab pots and only crab pots. Uh, ship part. Or shipyard? What does she have? Anything interesting? Ah, uh, well, we need to start buying packed explosives from her. Because I know we're going to need in the explosives, uh, in the volcanic region, at the very least. Now, I hate to do this, but I gotta go pee. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try putting up a YouTube ad and you guys can tell me if it's uh mediocre or not, and then we'll dive back into the game proper. All right, I am back and I grabbed the wrong controller. So you guys can see, uh, let's see. I got a how to get in shape ad. So the ad actually did work. Okay, so no ads, some ads, Genshin skipped, kebab ad, ooh, or kebab ad. That's interesting, no ad, nothing. Yeah, I haven't tried playing ads yet. For YouTube, that was my first. I mean, obviously, I put them on my regular videos. But I wasn't sure how it worked for things. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's, uh... Uh, well, I don't know, actually. It could be any, any number of explanations for why they don't play. play. Uh, if you got YouTube Premium or an ad blocker, it might block it, too. Might also be based on region. Because, yeah, that does matter. Okay, well... Let's close that and let's continue on. An ad for a seemingly new menstruation uh, product. Huh. I I guess the question to ask within that is... Oh, the mangroves move. Wait, what the hell is that thing? There's a critter. Sergeant fish. Okay, something popped up and looked at me. Oh, but that might also be my sanity having issues. Because, like, I will admit, uh, so, I still use Twitter. Uh, not too much, but I still have to use it because it's part of my job. And the mangroves move. Uh, and one of the things that I do whenever I'm on Twitter is I relentlessly block every ad ever served to me on that platform. I know they have to make money, but on the flip side, like... Yeah, I just don't care about Twitter that much as a platform, and I kind of hope it gets replaced by something better. Um, like, I've been on uh, Mastodon. I think Mastodon is nice. There's just not enough people there quite yet. Ooh, this looks like really fast fish. Oh, let's see, so what do we have here? Oh, a sign. Telling me to go this direction. Rude.
Like the bands? Uh, no, it's like an alternate social media platform. Oh, hey, we found the stones. I guess I should probably go insane. It's hard to do that during the day, though. That is the one issue. And this place at night scares me a smidge. Crooked talons hang from its fins. Periodically, they shudder and come together, grasping like a hand. Uh, but so I've been relentlessly blocking ads on Twitter and they've gotten progressively more dire the further I've been there. So it started with like really basic stuff like uh, advertisements for that Meet Your Maker game that's coming out in a couple of days, which like, yeah, cool. I don't mind an ad for that. But after a certain point, it started giving me at, um, like job offers for Virginia and... I'm trying to remember all of the other kind of weird things that I've been getting. But a lot of crypto shit and a lot of uh, associated other, like, scams, pseudo scams, and other just not great things that, oh, Vortex Interloper. A slow swirl twists its body, stretching it towards some unseen dimension. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Um... But I've been screenshotting the weirdest ads I've been getting, mostly out of just kind of to remind myself that, yes, people advertise for this junk. Mm. But also just because it amuses me. Okay, right. I want to be quite mad here, so let's go find some fish and lose our, lose our brain pan. You get a lot of a lot of crypto ads because cryo and crypto are too close as words. Oh, that's funny. All right, I think I'm insane. Entwined mullet. We'll get to that in a bit. I gotta go back and find those rocks. Where's that opening? Is he, no. Back this direction. As long as the mangroves haven't closed on me. Nope. Oh, looks like I'm good. And the stones were over here on the right. There it is. Might as well get some deep lore. The stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. A sudden chill rushes through your the marrow of your bones, surging up your arms. A parasite burrows into a large snake-like carcass. It feeds, growing fat and multiplying. Tendrils sprout from the head of the body and sense the water around it. The host corpse shudders reluctantly. With a cry that resounds through the forest, it rises once again. Ooh. Yeah, I do get a lot of weird uh, direct messages as well from, yeah, weird crypto bots being like, help manage whatever. And it's like, no. You know, what world would I ever do that? I've also been getting a lot of uh, people DMing me trying to get me to promote their products, uh, which is always a little weird uh, just because it's just kind of like, I don't think... My channel is a good uh, platform to advertise sports equipment. So, like, no, but also, why would you ever think that was a reasonable, reasonable ask? Why am I fishing still? I'm actually legitimately curious about this. There's no merit for me to do so anymore. Nope, don't go over that. Like, I should probably throw them back, but, eh. I just, I see a fishing spot and I do the fishing thing. Oh. Yeah, that, that sound, that might have been the big bad. I wonder if it's worse if I'm insane. I have no idea. Oh, I was going to check that one fish, whatever. Oh, you know what I also haven't done? Chipyard. Uh, my boat's damaged. Uh, let's see. Let's also put the valuables away. Okay, so let me... Get out of that. Where are we? Oh. So there might not be a central quest for this one. It might literally just be a maze. No, 
No, there, okay, there's a central quest. Oh, it's the crash plane again. Why is there another? One second, I'm gonna need a voice before I talk to this man. Ah. Or, I'm gonna need a drink before I voice this man. I, I don't actually know what I said. A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. It stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. You join him by the fire. I've been trying to rid them from rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. Make, made us see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until I've af not until after I've avenged my squadron. What happened to them? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or dishing into the water. Those that survived ra rallied here, under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before it could, uh, before it could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled. Picked off by the fiends in the forest. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different from the rest? Yes. <laughs> I figured you'd be up for it. You, you have that look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. I'll mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go and see what you can salvage. Hmm? How will you honor your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up in the tree behind me. Seem fitting enough. But I've only got the tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all the bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I can add them to the tree with their mm. brothers. Oops. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here. Take this one in good faith. I'll give you more for every tag you bring. Any shipwrecks mm. around here? Shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. Tell me about mine suckers. Devilish creatures through and through. They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a fevered dream. Fever stream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in body bloodied scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Okay. Well. Hit <laughs> that look. Maddened eyes. Oh yeah, I am... I am beyond coconut levels of crazy dew. Oh, can I blow this up? I don't have any at the moment. I should go get more. Unless I'm trapped in here. Now it looks like I'm fine for the moment. There's also that trap. I guess, honestly, to prevent myself from fishing more, what I should probably do... Let's see. I should probably just start carrying the explosives that I have around. Because we're going to find a use for them. And I do still have the dog tags. They were not automatically sold. Yes. Oh. Two cargo. Uh, let's see. We don't need any more refined metal. What do we need? at this point for the remaining four inventory spaces. We are going to need a lot. We're going to need a lot more wood. So two more wood, one scrap metal, and, and some cloth. And then also those, but I'm not actually sure if we really need the extra engines or anything like that. Oh well. You can't catch me. I didn't go down. Well, there's the thing. I guess it just kind of looks at me, unless I'm really fast. It'll probably get at me at some point, but hard to care. Tattered receipt. Err, messages. Goldsmith and Son, number 27, Little Morrow, December 22nd, 1926, received the sum of $50.00 in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mount 
mounting. Ooh. Additional notes. Received a further $3 for custom engraving on the reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, 23rd of December for collection. Engraving is to be as follows. For J, my shining star. Aw. That's probably the couple we keep reading about. Maybe. Okay, where am I going with this? Oh. Are these new? No, I've definitely fished those. There it is. I think the reason why the planes are so big is so they're easy to, easier to find. Boy, the way the music kicked in there uh, surprised me a little bit. And anyway, then we might as well grab the metal while we're here. Because we're going to need a fair bit of it. I think we only needed one for this next part. But I think I need like three or four total. Okay, that's done. Now, turning around here without breaking my boat. Uh, eh, it's doable. I am an absolutely terrible sailor. Like, in real life, I have the sailing merit badge. Uh, because Boy Scouts... What? There's another? There's more lore stones? Oh, no. Does that mean that there's, like, a bunch of lore stones that I've... Oh, wait, what the hell is that thing? Oh, that's just him. We're just on the other side of his cove. Ooh, this is new. That's catfish. I might legitimately have to start practicing catch and release. Nope, didn't get it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna start doing that. Yeah, I mentioned there might be more, bo more before. I only really spotted one per location. I might honestly have to look up a uh, a guide. Oh, there it is. Nightwing catfish. Hooked barbels seek out prey in the twisting mangroves. One sluggish fish given haste upon crimson fins. Oh, good. I'm actually crazy enough for this. Perfect. Stone trembles before you. Sudden chill rushes up. Okay. Man flees through the trees, bloodshot eyes wide with terror. Runs into a dead end, cornered by murky waters, and his pursuer. He turns. Wooden spear flies and finds its mark. Don't you turn my lights off? Eldritch Fiend. Probably, yes. Blistered Tarpon. Scales given way to bubbling flesh, a surface dweller singled out and cleansed by the sun. Oh, we got another one of these. Okay, fighter planes got some dog tags. And a wedding ring. Ooh, poor guy. Okay, then we've got these. I think this is the same thing, though. Yeah, another tarpon. We should probably head back. Yeah, let's just go out onto open waters. Now, where am I? I'm on the northern side. I kind of wish the teleport would actually take me back to the nearest, um... Would actually take me back to the nearest shop. You know, wherever the trader has gone. You will not thwap me. I'm unthwappable. Let's see. Uh oh. Well, you know what? I actually don't care. We can cut through here. Nothing wrong with it, right? There does seem to maybe be a message in a bottle there, but we'll get to it when we get to it. Ah.
Okay, so we want to go to the fish market before anything gets more cursed. I wonder if these fish can get infected. I don't think I've ever checked. Well, bye. Let's see, we should probably go dump off these dog tags as soon as I have them. I store the quest stuff. Well, I was going to go deliver it. Oh, there is storage at this place. Oh, okay. I'm going to go deliver it anyway. Okay. There is something here. There's the creature. Here, give me a second. I must... Get rid of a goon. You cannot get at me. I know your secrets. And I have witch magic. Okay, this is more metal junk. Yeah, I wonder if the weird bog fish is actually more or less like, or if it's more likely to show up if I'm insane. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay. We're locked in here, so I guess I gotta go around. Oh, you can bonk the mushrooms. Boy, there's a lot of messages in the bottle in bottles. Uh let's see. If this has a lot of mushrooms in it, I'm gonna go give it an ogle just because this Nope, doesn't want me to go this direction. All right. Hmm. Kind of a dead end. Oh, it's not. Aha. You thought you could stop me. Oh, this is just to get some refined metal. Ah, uh, fine. It also gets me a really nice shortcut. But we might we might specifically want to go back to the one island for a lot of booms. Okay, where am I and where am I going? Fortunately, the dude I'm looking for is like here. We just got to get around to him. My boat is very uh, is maybe too fast for the mangroves. So actually losing a jet engine here is uh, not too much of an issue. Another nagging point. Beyond the upgrades, refined metal is useless. I, I honestly wish this game had a ton of things that you could still buy that are not really that helpful, but they're small boosts. Like, faster fishing. Okay, airman. Okay, parts of the mortar. That's the lot. Now while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. Uh, you may have noticed that some contraptions in the lagoon around here. I've assembled those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar. And that'll be the end of them. No hmm. more nightmares. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it? I understand. So what's next? You need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Bait for the first one. Three fish from the area to make. Well, I don't have any of those. I don't have all the fish for the bait yet. Come back when you have the rest. Second one. Okay, catfish and some more. And bait for the third. Bunch of eels. Cool. I mean, that's easy enough. Okay, found some dog tags. Okay, thank you. I'll hang on to these here, as promised. Okay, so I guess my need to fish for things is slightly vindicated. Okay, anything else? No. I guess next order of business is finding sufficient fish. I haven't. I wasn't exactly paying attention to what fish he needed. I know he's he needs two of these, so that makes my life easy. We're going to just uh, fish these two and just turn right back around. Eh, we 
can probably find a little bit more. Hmm, Shell must have had fried rice. I can smell it. Oh, she had the bow bun. Alright. We went out for dumplings yesterday. Unfortunately, I don't know. I was really spoiled by the food out in Portland. Like, the food there was real good. A lot of the other food I've had has been kind of ho-hum. Okay, so we don't need... We don't have that. We most assuredly have the catfish for this one. So I think we need a couple of the little small guys. Okay, but we can get the third bait. Unless there's another fish. But I think this is just double eel, yeah? Uh, I should do it. Just mix these, load this into the trap, and we'll get clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with a mortar. Just make sure you bring back proof that the thing's really dead, you hear? Okay. Foul smelling mixture of fish and something else. Airman says this should attract the beast in tr Twisted Strand. I should be careful. Okay. Fried rice with spam. I, I have never had spam. And I've heard of like a lot of different recipes that you can have it with. But I've never specifically like had it myself. Have I? Oh, you're right. I did have spam at a Hawaiian restaurant. Forgot about that. Okay, so all we have to do is find the long boy. None of that, you. I should probably go back out while I'm here and just repair. But yeah, I tried to stay away from heavily processed meats. Um... I mean, meat in general, frankly. Mm. Like, I had uh, beef, Japanese curry last night with beef in it uh, at the Chinese restaurant. Well, yeah, we got takeout. I still don't do dine-in. Probably won't for a while. I don't really miss it. Do we want to sleep? Yeah, I might. Tootling around at nighttime is getting inconvenient. Okay, so all we got to do is find that long nose sucker, and then we're good. Are you the long... No, you're the short nose. Got to be one of these. It's got to be one of these. I guess you can kind of see based on the profile. Uh, I think it's these boyos. No, it's not, but I've now forgotten the profile of the fish I'm supposed to be looking for. Well, worse comes worse, we just get one of everything. I could use the spyglass. My only immediate problem with the spyglass is it's really hard to see anything with the mangroves in the way. Oh. I think we need another explosive. Hopefully she still sells them. Okay, alligator fish. Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, that looks explodable, and that might have the uh, special fish for the region. Because I know, I know there's going to be a special fi fish in each region. Okay. Just go back. Was it the first or was it the second entrance? Have you found the gulper eel yet? Yep. Yeah, that one that one was easy. That's because I saw it's like uh shadow in the water and I was like, I bet that's special. And then I sold it, and everybody was like, No, you needed that for the quest. Well, everybody. One person was like, you needed that for the quest. Goliath tiger fish. Fearsomely predatory, this gigantic fish is also one of the most aggressive. Teeth are so large that they punch hole through the opposing jaw. Eee. 
That's freaky. Okay. Are you what I have been seeking? Yes. And we're also looking for the cursed version of the gar. Nope. I think even though this is the one I'm worst at, I think this is my favorite of the fishing mini games. Oh, we depleted it. That sucks. Now, I thought this place was going to be more of a maze, but I've got it mostly figured out, kind of, sort of. You only you you only have to catch the fish. It doesn't matter if you sell it. But there there was the moment where it's like, oh yeah, that is just gone now. Okay, so we want to do Airman. Hello, Airman. Wait for the first one. Take my gar. <laughs> I should do it. Just mix these here and load it into the trap, and we'll get clear from it. Okay, I don't... I've only found one of the traps so far, but that's fine. Alright, second bait. Luckily, just needed a bunch of these, I think. Alright, so now we just have to go find the various traps. Okay. Is there actually a benefit for not depleting a spot? Uh, mostly keeping my inventory kind of lean. Because I have... How much money do I have? I've got 4,000. Like, I am absolutely loaded with this stuff. Okay. Probably move away. Eat the fishy. Yeah, do it. Inside is the obliterated corpse of the mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. Uh, it's still there. But yeah, let's let's go drop this stuff off. I do appreciate that you can see this dude's fire from like very far away. Shot came from the city. The mortar was behind you, yet it came in front of you. Dude, dude's just really good at sidewindering his shots. Got a creature corpse to show you. Let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. <laughs> yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go though. Hmm? Okay. Anything else? Casually shoots around the globe. It's one hell of a mortar. Okay, let's uh... Let's actually scoop back out and... Go deliver the big fish. Since my inventory is getting a little full. We'll go find the other ones. Oh man, I haven't seen the, the weird eyes in the mist in forever. I don't actually know what that signifies ever, because I never stuck around. Ah. Alright. Deliver fish. We sell the reeking bait. Ha! Huh. Huh. Okay, hmm. fish you wanted me to find. Found the ah. Goliath tiger fish. Great news, I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. I'm sure you'll find some use for it. Okay, got all the information. What we want to do is probably research, if only because I got seven parts and I should spend them on something. Uh, why don't we actually spend them on crab, crab pot? Unfortunately, I'm going to need like every crab pot. So seven days, five by five, five by four. So what's the last one? Nine days, three per day. So the Eldritch crab pot is by and far the best, but still. Uh, let's see. My storage. Do we have anything else? Yeah. I do actually have an amount of stuff, but I 
think we only have just the scrap metal. Still, nice to get the inventory out of it. Out and clear. Okay. Let's let's go back in here and see if we can find the next bait part. I figure this is probably it. We just have to get in. How did that not break my boat? It's like I'm I'm too fast for this area. Is this a cloth? The cloth is like the one re well cloth cloth and wood. I need massive amounts of cloth. I'm actually kind of surprised that dredging wasn't more of a mechanic in this game. We've only used it for like a little bit of loot and that's it. Those were some bouncy mushrooms. Bouncy mushroom bless. Save me from some sad crashes. Okay, so there's the critter. I just need to find the remaining trap. I got some lumber here. I'll snag that. I was kind of hoping it would be nearby, but alas, doesn't look like it. And at this point, I've just committed to being uh, insane. My character won't sleep for a week. Okay. What's oh, on the... Where? It's in here. Okay, I'll see about getting around to it. Yeah, I marked it on my map. Yep. Yeah, there it is. I think I've just only ever seen one of them. Boy, this is a shockingly large area with actually some decent stuff in it. Maybe. Large cage, loaded with bait. Fetid bait removed from inventory. Ooh. It does amuse me, though, that, like, the downsides of going absolutely stark raving mad in this game, like, the downsides go away pretty fast, especially once you're used to it or you have a ton of money. Because after a certain point, you just kind of hit the point where any damage that you take isn't, uh, isn't punishing anymore. It's just a slight inconvenience as you have to go back for repairs. And so, I don't know. I guess it kind of amuses me to get to this point. Uh, if it's any consequences have melted away in favor of slight financial inconveniences. Or into slight financial inconveniences and nothing more. Now, that's a research part. I'm looking for wood, damn you. I don't want that. Like, Wander's sole nourishment is coffee. Now, this guy just drinks fish blood or something wild. It's just... But, like, only the cursed fish. And that's just enough for him because he's... Losing it. Is that? Yeah. Thank you. I am very curious by the fact that you can hear another fo uh, horn in the fog. Oh, nope. I was honking at the wrong set of roots. I'm so glad that bumping into a mushroom does not actually hurt you. At the speeds that I've been going. Oh, none of that. Turn my lights back on. You're not going to get me jump scared. 
Oh, that's that's the creature corpse. I'm like, is that some other cursed like? Uh oh, shoot! What are they called again? The lantern fish. The are they lantern fish? No. Why have I forgotten their name? Oh well. Airman, got a corpse for you. Wobbles a little. Okay, so now we just got to find the angler fish. There we go. Thank you. I was thinking of Lantern, the Pokemon, because it is an anglerfish, just a very cute one. And it was just, like, messing with my brain. Because I could not, well, not put two and two together, but, uh, I couldn't escape that naming. Like, I don't know if you guys have this problem, but games like Pokemon thoroughly break my brain sometimes to the point where, like, I forget the real animal. Uh, not that it exists, but just, I forget its name. I'm not even sure. Oh. Oh, that was wind. Oh, the wind going underneath me looks like a weird, weird fish. Lantern is very cute. Lantern is one of my favorite Pokemon. They're an absolute solid contender in most teams. I've called dogs Growlithe before. <laughs> What was when was the last time Lantern was a game in a Pokemon game? Uh shoot. Was it in Diamond and Pearl as well? Hey chat, what generations was Lantern a normal uh appearance? Because I I know it was added in Silver and Gold. But which was the one where it uh when was the last time that was, like, actually a easy-to-catch Pokemon? My favorite is Nidorina. I love Nidorina and Nidoran's design. I thought that was really cool. Sword and Shield. Okay. So, it hasn't been that long. How are things going? Got a corpse for you. Let's see it, then. Drop the large bloody carcass in front of the airman. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. He bends down and plunges his knife into the soft flesh. Falls away before the blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening tear, he rests it from where it was embedded in the flesh of the creature. He holds it aloft. He recognizes it as a necklace, glistening in gore. <laughs> well, fisherman, some fortune at last. This ought to fetch a decent price from the right collector. Here, why don't you take it? Her chains. The waves keep her now. He stands back from the corpse. A melancholic look comes over his face. <sighs> And now, well, that's that, I suppose. Hmm? What will you do now? I can't say for sure. I thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place. This has become somewhat of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, I can make some special bait for you. Not to help your fishing. You make hmm. some bait for me? Yeah, this is a leftover from the other bait we made. Okay, toss overboard to attract local species. Huh. Right now we can make some fresh stuff if you like. Need fish from you first. Any type will do. The more you give, the more bait I can make. Cool. Well, we'll leave that for later. For now, bye. I was hoping he would give me a book. Well, on the flip side, uh, let's see. I guess here. We want to manifest. Because we're done with this. I think we can actually... I don't know if we're going to beat this game exactly, but if we only have one region left, unless there's a lot more past that, then, yeah, we should be able to beat this today. You enter the house carrying the ornate necklace. The collector recognizes it almost immediately. <sighs> An excellent find. It demands, it demands pride of place in my collection. He sweeps aside some scraps on a dusty table, candle wax pulling in its corners. He places the necklace carefully in the clearing. And I suppose you'll be demanding recompense as well. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. Atrophy. Harvest an entire shoal of fish. Ooh. As he finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We are so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plane on the approach to Devil's Spine is 
Likely candidate. Let's see what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Are you human? Your, inqu your inquiry is met with a piercing gaze. I, of course, as human as you are. Anything else? I'm not a human. I am a sentient boat! <laughs> I feel like that would be a really funny and uncomfortable plot point in, like, a more sci-fi thing. It's like, are you human? Yes, just as human as you. And the person's just like, oh. There's a lot more sharks there than I thought. Oh, well. Press X to boat. Oh, gosh. My character... Have you guys ever seen the weird, weird meme where it's like a 3D animation of uh, Thomas the Tank Engine and he's like looking around and then like this weird Thomas the Tank Engine worm centipede thing comes crawling out? Uh, like that's, that's what I'm envisioning our protagonist is. Okay, so we don't have much else here. Ah, uh, ship right. We've got a oh, we've got a bunch of stuff. We can we can get the next inventory space. Last thing that boat horn like I haven't slept in six days and neither should you. <laughs> I, my character is gone. Ooh, storage filled up quick. I'm very glad that it at least kind of auto sorts for me. Okay, do we want more engines? Not really. Like, I'm already going plenty fast. And I feel like going faster would be a mistake. I'll do it. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to like it that much. Hey, Choo Choo Charles, have you seen that game? Oh, yeah. I played a little bit of it. I thought it was very okay. Um, I would have played more, but it didn't, uh, didn't get a whole lot of viewership at the time. But now that I'm doing these YouTube streams, who knows, who knows uh, what kind of content I can cover in ways that I might not have been able to before. Honestly, I'm going to sell her the Viscera, uh, Viscera Crane. Whoop. Okay, we should probably also take all of these things. And move them over. Seeing as we're in town, we might as well go talk to the other character. More speed a mistake, blasphemy. I mean, it's fair. I'm actually curious if I'm fast enough, if I can go, um... If I can just disregard the little, like, lamprey fishes. Train centipede sounds very, I'm sorry, John. I absolutely adore, I'm sorry, John. Okay, show him the stone tablet. Raider takes the stone tablet from you and inspects it closely, turning it over in his hands. Markable, yes, I do believe this is a fragment of a larger arrangement. He reaches up to a high shelf and brings down a similar looking stone, albeit one covered in much more dust. Some years ago, I acquired the other piece. You found this near the runes in Devil's Spine, didn't you? Yes. Ah, well, I suspect there will be more out there. I'll hold on to this for now and study it while you search for the other fragments. In the meantime, trinkets to appraise? Money. Cash for gold. I just, sure. Alright. Anything else? Oh, he looks bad? Dock worker is standing motionless on the edge of the dock, staring down at the water. Seems paralyzed by fear at what he sees. Stay with him. You stand with him for a while. Occasionally a tremor shakes his body. His breathing becomes labored. He strains, clench clenching his fists, eyes shut tight with effort. A tear rolls down his cheek. Body relaxes suddenly, and his eyes snap open again. The cloudy and expressionless. Fluid rattles through his lungs. A drop of dark ooze falls from one of his ears and lands on the dock. It slips between the boards and disappears into the water below. What was that? A trembling head turns ever so slightly towards you. His breathing grows heavy in anger until you step backwards, leaving him standing there on the dock. Ooh, boy. Wonder are you gonna play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom in May? Yeah, probably. 
Yeah, it's because we were delivering a bunch of uh, creepy meat packages to the dude. I guess he got what he wanted or didn't. I don't know. What I will probably... Oh, gosh. I'll have to decide how I want to do that one. It'll probably be Shell and myself playing. What it might be is uh, I alternate between playing... Um, playing solo and exploring and then bringing her on for the actual, like, story stuff. If it follows the same formula as the previous game where it's very open world. Um, though I'm not entirely sure, like, how much of it I'm going to stream. It might be one of those where I do a stream and then, like, not play for a couple of days. And then I come back for more and I suddenly have, like, way more Korok seeds, maybe. I don't know. I still have to decide how much I want to alternate between, like, Twitch and YouTube and what kind of streaming and content I produce. Uh, clearly I've opened some interesting doors lately. Strange black oil mutating organic beings. Uh, are you implying that they're all Phyrexians? Yep. I've read two dates, two Magic the Gathering books, the beginning of Mirrodin, and some really weird Phyrexia book. Back from, what, 6th edition? And it involved, like, one of the characters becoming, like, the... Envoy of the Emperor and being gooped as heck. I should go back and read those at some point. But I don't even know, like, where you get access to the Magic the Gathering books. Ooh. There's actually a lot of these fish boats now. Be gone, fiend! You cannot catch me. I am too honky for you. Uh, let's see. So what do we want to do? Do we want to just... Yeah, let's actually sleep for once. But I haven't actually played, uh, paid much attention to Magic the Gathering in a couple of years. I mean, really ever since... I think I stopped around like 9th gen, give or take. So it's actually been a long time since I played Magic. It doesn't help that their recent behavior has been kind of iffy. And so I don't feel particularly motivated to uh, play Magic or Dungeons and Dragons. I'll play, like, tabletop RPGs, and I'd love to actually look into some alternative, um, TCGs, but, I don't know. I got other things to do. I've been buying a lot of board games. That's my thing. Um, and playing those instead, and it's kind of the same experience, but without any of the BS RNG you know, I pulled the god card from the booster and my brother didn't and now he's mad at me and wants it because it fits his deck better than his. And so I just have to constantly be like, can I have my card back? It wasn't really that much of an issue, but I my, my brother was definitely upset because I tended to get the weirdly rare cards in a way that he didn't at the time. Digimon TCG. Huh. I, I knew one friend that was into it, but yeah, I don't even know where you get Digimon cards around here. I guess if I went over to the local game store, I could probably find it. But my problem with TCGs in general is they're like grossly expensive. Um, yeah, they're very much our kind of physical loot box kind of thing. Ascension is a fun deck builder game. Yeah, I, uh, we have and. Do we have Ascension, or do we have something else? I know we have a... Uh, let's see. A deck builder -y game. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna discard my basic crab pots. They're bad. Okay, so we have... A, oh, no, we have Eternal, not Ascension.
Which I think is the physical version of a digital game, because I know my brother got really hooked on uh, Eternal for a while with my dad, and then kicked the habit because he had other things to do. Let's just get rid of our crab pots. Okay, so I have more resources than I know what to do with. Which is kind of good, actually, because I think... I think I'm going to go back... And fix up my stuff. Uh, and finish my ship. Because I think this will be the end of it. What? Oh. A rock must have spawned underneath me. Okay. Oh, Ascension also has a digital version. You know what? I bet that's where I have Ascension. Uh -huh. I think I bought the digital version, um, like a Christmas or two ago. Oh, I just overheated. Oh, that'd do it. Sorry. The longer this goes on, the less attentive I am to certain, uh, small things. As we're pretty much done. Oh, hey, you know that, uh, metal I picked up? It actually had, like, a, uh, I actually had a reason to do it. We are now officially done upgrading my boat, which means I no, no longer have to do any more dredge. Dredging is done for... Bam. What? No achievement? No Chivo? No recognition for my hard labor. I'm slightly disappointed, but I'm not actually too bothered. So Ascension with six people on board is crazy fun. Ooh. I might, uh, I might give that a look-see at some point. Oh, well, we got the researcher for pots. Unfortunately, I think you have to play this game multiple times. Well, no, 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 no. You definitely can get enough research parts if you just grind for it, but eh. Yeah, we are at maximum boats. Oh, are we? I can, uh, I can jam some more engines on here. But yeah, I might, I might look into, uh, Ascension at some point, because I love the idea of Magic the Gathering, but I don't actually like the booster packs and whatnot. And so if all the decks were at least fixed, then everybody would be on, or not fixed, but if all of the decks were uh, balanced beyond like whatever decisions you make and choose to add to your own uh, from like a set pool, I could see that actually being a really good way of handling things. Yeah, I'm going the right direction, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh... I really wish I could have gotten like a better upgrade. Oh, you know what? That's what this should have had. I mean, apart from everything else, I really wish you could actually upgrade each of your your different abilities in in various manners. Like either a go hella fast. Oh, wait, no, I'm going the wrong direction. We're going for the ancient temple. You can do that. They're called drafts. But you still have to buy boosters or those, like, big, chunky tournament packy things. Ooh. Rat tail. Cool. Oh, you know what? Actually, I'm, like, never going to see this thing again, am I? I might. Let's see if we can find the cursed version of it. There we go. There it is. Oh god, what is that? That looks awful. Congealed rat tail. The flesh of this deep dweller is turned into a thick ooze, secreting an oily gel that covers its entire body. Ugh. Yeah, that's uncomfortable. Am I? I'm with these like weird junked out islands that I haven't taken taken a look at at yet. That looks like a giant facility that got destroyed. Is there anything to do with it, or do I just ogle it as I go by? Actually, no. Those look like pillars more than anything else.
Eh, don't care. Okay, and we've got a red cloaked starver. But I'm not I want nothing to do with that. Okay, that's just the pale skate again. I guess I could try and fish just to see if I can get the uh cursed version of it. It's a possibility? No. I'm curious to see what happens when my whole setup gets infected, but I... I don't care enough to go elsewhere or do anything about it at the moment. I think this mostly just costs me money, but money is the last thing on my mind. Oh. Uh, shoot. Maybe I should care a bit. We should go get explosives. That was rude. So is that Max Motors? It is just shy of Max Motors. Okay, she's on the other side of it. Ah! Wow. I think they're really close. Unless that thing only infects my sanity, at which point I don't care. Not today. Okay, how bad's my, uh... That doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's still bad, I guess. Alright, shipyard. Because she should have... Well, she should let me... Oh, no. We don't need repairs. Uh, she does have some explosives. Yeah, the question is, do I want to just piecemeal buy some more explosives, or now we're at max engine? Or do I want to specifically go and buy a lot more? I'm up for whatever. I think the main thing is this is a bit faster. Ossified sea robin, chittering mandibles, scythe in the air in front of this deep dweller. A small body encased in a suit of thick bone. Ooh, boy. Even after he gets the last jet, he won't go at max speed until he branches into the other tech stuff. My big issue is getting into the other, um... Uh, getting any of the other stuff is going to take a lot of time. Uh, oh, you know what? Fish market, that was a weird mouth noise. Why don't we grab a couple of crab pots? Not that I really care about crab at this point, but we might as well see what weird crab species pop up in this area. That's the chum bucket. Okay. Oh. Oh, right. We did need the crab, crab traps. I forgot that was one of the things that we need in we need in this zone. Each of these kind of sub islands has a um a statue on it. Those guys mostly Oh, what is that thing? Okay. I don't know if big... Big Badsley is going to come after me. But this should be the last one. Because this should be the Coelacanth. Well, I guess there would have been one of these in here. There it is. Coelacanth. An ancient giant, battered by years gone by, its slow eyes swivel to look at you mournfully. Aww. Okay. So now that we've got that, what are we looking for here? So we've got something on the backside. Of this. I think the only immediate issue is 
Some sanity troubles. Oh, there it is. And then also figuring out what fish this actually wants. Okay, so it wants a pale ray and... Is that a ghost shark? I think that's a ghost shark. I pronounced that wrong for a long time. I've always uh, read it as Coelacanth. I think it's Coelacanth. I could be quite wrong. But I think it's one of those that's pronounced weird, like you can't phonetic it. At least not with English. Look at all these parts. Uh, yeah, I think we might actually want to warp back to the, uh, Devil's Manor or whatever it is. Can I destroy that? Hard to tell. Probably not. And fortunately, I think the horror fish are going to be the things defending. Well, this is probably the ghost ghost shark. Yep, ghost shark. So now we got to find some rays. I'm just going to grab one of everything. Cusk eel. I I feel insulted by that. Oh, hey, we're insane enough. Stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow within. All right, deep vision, blackness. A crimson rift opens up in the void. Dreadful silhouettes drift through the pr procession of teeth and tentacles. After the last grotesque figure emerges, a membrane spreads over the fissure. A distant groan emanates from the space beyond. Oh, you know, I had a really fun idea for a uh, tabletop RPG campaign someday. What if... Okay. Question, can I banish? Aha! They don't like it when I banish. That's good to know. Um, I'm a huge fan of sci-fi, but space is always kind of scuffed from like a D&D perspective or from a uh, tabletop RPG because you pretty much have to worry about uh, whether or not your, uh, your players are going to get like sucked up, at, sucked out into the vacuum of space and die or something like that. And that kind of, that kind of blows. And so I've seen a lot of different solutions over the years. Um, I know Starfinder just has, like, the most busted spell ever that's like, Hey, by the way, like, space doesn't bug you, and it's level one, and it's, it's way broken. But I was thinking it'd be kind of interesting if you actually had, like, a, um, a sci-fi campaign, but the whole, like, there is no space, everything is water. No worries about getting sucked in the vacuum of space at D&D. Unfortunately, I'm from the generation where you mostly ah. didn't know about... Uh, sell that bad boy, sell that bad boy. I think we only need one of everything. Um, but, like, when I was a kid, there were, there were no other tabletop RP RPGs. Well, there were, but nobody talked about them. You know, that D&D was the only one that we knew of. And I, I know now that there were actually plenty more, but good marketing and just lack of availability for other rule sets meant pretty much that, yeah, you just only had D&D. &D. And so I'm so used to calling tabletop RPGs D&D &D because... Hold up. we gone, birds. Okay. We'll have to wait for my crab traps to get the other one, but at least that's on its way. Right, I was gonna go back because we wanted to buy explosives. And we got the coelacan so we can tell her about it. Oh. Hey, can come by for a chat? Rare fish. 
Found the coelacanth. That's great news. I'll add it to my records. Here, take this. That's all of them. Wow. I never thought I'd complete these records. Is there anything else you want to talk about? What is this place? Some kind of ancient civilization must have lived here. Judging by the state of the buildings, things didn't go so well for them. Can't imagine they built all this around an active volcano, so the volcano must have become active sometime after they founded their city. I guess the volcano caused them to leave, or wiped them out, one way or another. All in all, it's pretty it's a pretty inhospitable place. I'm not really sure why I came here. Okay, anything else? Nah. So we gotta figure out where the oh nope nope nope. There's one more thing. Really? Uh, you know what? Actually, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to just warp back here. Because what I'm looking for is on the other side of this. We're going to go back to the uh, the dude with the explosives, and we are just going to go ham. Okay. Don't burn self too much. Oh, Ingfell's over here. Pointed myself in the wrong direction. There it is. I'm gonna wail on the whaler. No, I'm going to peruse his goods. None of that downspout. Hello, sir. Cruel heat. More packed explosives? Yes. Uh, are you kidding me? Did I... I uninstalled my rod because I put the explosives there by accident because I was being sloppy. I didn't... That's so goofy that you can't just undo it. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna rest here. Do you want to explode? Yes. Okay, whaling yards. Oh, baby, music to my ears. This man is loaded with explosives. Stayed up all night just to make more bombs for, for Bot Boy. Heck yeah. All right. That should be more than enough kaboom to put a hole in any Eldritch being. America, I think. Hell yeah! We go fishing the way, uh, the way Grandpappy used to, backcountry style, dynamite in the water. Woohoo! All right, let's uh, go on. So this is confirm the one who's going to quit YouTube and become a fisher. Uh, no. Like I said earlier, I feel bad for fish, man. Like, fishing just makes me feel awful. And, like, I realize, like, fish are subsent subsentient creatures and not really that impactful or important or anything like that, but I still feel bad. I mean, they're important. It's just kind of one of those where it's like, fishing on an individual level isn't that big of a deal. But I still would feel bad about, like, fishing for them as a person. On an industrial scale, oh, we should not be touching fish at all. You undock next to an old rowboat. Somebody is here. He's hunched over by the campfire, muttering to himself. You cautiously approach. Oh. Did you throw it back? No. The book! Nope. <sighs> I'm not seeing things. It's really you, isn't it? Who do you think I am? He turns away, wringing his hands. He speaks to the fire. It was him. Him and his damned wife, they dredged up that old book, but something, something cloaked in fog, followed it out right through the boat. Boom! Oh, this is the old mayor. Uh, from the, from Little Morrow. Or maybe the previous one? I don't know. The man makes, uh, makes crude explosion noises and motions wide with his hands, still talking to the fire, as though pantomiming a story to a child. It spoke, it said it was coming for our breath that we wouldn't be needing it soon, and then darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up on the shore in him, still clutching that oh. book. Throw it back, we cried. 
As the fog rolled ashore, we thought surely it can still be undone. What book? Silver and Crimson, the book covered in her blood. Oh. The guy that we're collecting bits for. These are our mementos, potentially of his wife to some degree. You're not making any sense. Oh. Throw it back! The man closes his eyes as tight as he holds back tears. Oh, tight as he holds back tears. The voice falls to a whisper. Oh. Please, the lighthouse keeper, she saw. She knew she knows where it came from. Where it needs to go. Uh, Tell me more about this book. Silver and crimson, silver and crimson. He rocks back and forth, staring through the flames. What do you know about the oh. fog? It cloaks in that calamitous thing. It's evil. Haven't you felt it? What does the lighthouse keeper have to do with this? Uh, I am yawning. Ah, uh, so you are yawning. She saw it all that ruinous day. Oh. Ask her, beg her, tell her I. He trails off, his face collapsing in sorrow. Well, cool. Bye. So I got a... If you get an ending for this game, you can go on to the other ending, right? That's like my one persistent fear when playing these games. Is that it's going to... Um, okay, good. That's all I need to know. My persistent fear with these games is it's going to jerk me around and force me to replay to get another ending. Um... And that has always been one of my, like, least favorite aspects of any game, is when you have multiple endings that you are barred from. And you have to play through the whole game a second time just to get the second one, and it's, it's really stupid. It only happens every once in a while, and it's something that hasn't happened recently. Like, the only game I could think of where that was halfway passable was oh that's mother dearest oh that's way less scary than i thought it was going to be oh there's the rays that i need actually i can just scoot in and grab it as long as none of the fish in my inventory have rotted yeah it doesn't look like it uh but like bastion i was willing to play that game a second time around it was kind of fun to do so, but damn it. I was trying to turn, but my joystick was not having it because turning is kind of, well, it's not relative, but I think I was trying to turn relatively. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. What do you want? Oh. Two malformed fish writhing under the sun. So it just wants cursed fish and anything else doesn't matter all right hey bastion that was a ba blast from the past was that 09 i thought that was like 11. no maybe it was maybe it was 10. There's something on this one. Yeah, 2011. Please stop. Don't make me feel old. I Bastion was like the indie game that got me into indie games. Oh, what is... Oh! This is one of the uh, stone pieces, I think. Yep. I might want to look into the stone tablets. Figure out where they are. I don't know if they'd act if they're actually important enough to go after though. Am I going the right direction? Yeah. Oh no, the haunted mist that makes me go mad. How are you finding them? I am a magic boy. Now oh, something rotted. I don't think it was anything we needed though, which is kind of nice. I feel bad for the fish rotting in my inventory, but, I mean, eh. Okay, so we just want to sell the volcano snail. Ooh, that's pricey. Let's see, we don't want to sell the ray. 
Go to the shipyard, repair. By the way, Cryoris, if you do want to find them, it's the golden glow coming out of a, a, uh, a dredging spot. It's actually kind of obvious once you know the tell. You probably already knew, though, but I figured just in case. Okay, so we wanna... Oop. We don't wanna sell our fish. Uh, let's see. Swap over here. She sells more explosives. I gotta make up for the fact that I threw some overboard with my stupid butt. Squat lobster. That's... Kind of an amazing name. Well, now we've got enough for almost everything. We just got to find the cursed ah. ones. Okay, sell both of those. So I guess in that case, we can just leave the uh, leave that for the time being. I'll have to find a good fishing spot, but. You can't make me more crazy. I'm already seeing the eyes and everything else. Okay, it's up ahead. The only immediate problem is that it is so dark, it's kind of hard to see. I mean, I guess we could be more crazy. I haven't actually investigated, like, what is the most crazy you could be in this game. And that is why, oh, oh, my ghost shark. I never delivered it. That's one of the things that rotted. I am but a fool. Oh, the crab shrine was the other direction. Well, let's go see if we can find a shark. Uh-oh. Okay, good. It didn't affect my fish. Yeah, let's, let's go find the crab shrine. And deliver that before anything goes badly for me. Or where is it? Oh, it's further down. That's oh, Mother Dearest. She's probably mad. Luckily, I'm dummy fast. Yeah, my crab traps are, like, right next to where I have to be. Aha! You thought you could catch me. You thought you could slow me down. You thought you could bring Mother to me. Alas for you. I have lobster- oh. Fathomless flame. Well, let's just put it all into storage. Luckily, it just lets me send it to storage. Okay, so what I should probably find is an actual fishing spot. Or a couple. Ooh, hey. I think this is where I found the coelacanth. I wonder if you can actually find a cursed coelacanth. Probably not. Water stream, yes! I do YouTube streams occasionally now. I... I decided to do so on a whim because I didn't want to play Dredge alone. I want to share this game with people because it's super good, and I think it's really cool. And so I was like, "Yeah, why not? Let's uh, let's do a YouTube stream just to, you know, play through the game." And that was like the most right decision I possibly could have made. Okay, I think I found the shark over here-ish. Maybe not. I'll just keep looking around. It'll show its butt or something. I guess we could do some other things. But I might also just kind of hope we can find two cursed fish. Try the bait. Ooh. That's a good point. Because otherwise it's just taking up inventory space. Well... I 
I'm just gonna finish with this one. Kind of hoping we'd find something. Wow. It says fish stock low, but... That is most assuredly... Going. Alright, sure. Chum bucket. Oh, so it just summons a local fish. Of no... Uh, oh, there's the shark. Is it? Or is this something else? Oh, this is this boyo. Well, that ain't it. I'm so fast. The babbies cannot get, get at me. I mean, they might be able to eventually. Nope, this ain't it. What if we go a little further out? It's gonna be one of these. Nope. Hmm. I guess I'm just gonna say. Oh, it does summon multiple species at once. Oops. Oh well. Okay. Yeah, we can just solve a lot of these. It's fine. Oh wait, no. It feels like it's been years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just know, need to know what he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I've written him another le letter. This will be the last one. Oh wait, hold up. What is that? That's a fish I haven't seen before. It's not a fish that I'm looking for, but I will still gladly fish for any fish I have not fished up yet. Snake mackerel. So what am I planning on ending? Uh, probably within the next half hour. It depends on what kind of ending sequence we're looking at here. Because this game... Could still be a couple minutes long. Yeah, there we go. Uh, past that point, but it's really as soon as as soon as I clear out this zone, we're good. And so that could be short. It could be long. There it is. So now all I need to do is just find a couple of cursed-looking creatures. I wonder if it has to be local. Or if I can actually pull from uh, supply from elsewhere. Yeah, because I haven't been seeing the glow. Okay, so I don't want a trophy fish. That's guaranteed to not be cursed. There's one. Infernal eel. Grown fat from countless corpses that, that rest in the deep. The harbinger of a sick mercy for lost souls. Ooh. Oh, even trophies can be cursed? Really? I guess I just kind of assumed that they couldn't be. Alright, well, whatever. One second. I need to banish a goon. He's just hanging out? Yeah, be gone. I wonder if it has to be two different ones. Hopefully not. Well, no, that's spent. Let's keep looking around. I don't. Oh! Bye now. That's a new one.
I have not seen that business before. Oh. Yeah, you're right. The atrophy power would actually be uh, helpful. Wait, that was mom? I thought the other one was mom. I thought the tentacle... Uh, and mom is just the big piranha looking thing. The tentacle, I think, is sanity issues. Yeah, that's just a tentacle. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. We're heading over here. Oh, hey, there's the... There's the big sail back. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, when was my last save? Ow, that, that hurt a bit. Oh, we're back here. Well, I wanted that to happen. Uh, let me check. Is that my first death? Yeah, that's my first death. Okay, I guess I could check storage. I'm just gonna leave those there. Uh, yeah, let's just check storage real quick. Where where were we? I mean, it doesn't matter. That's actually something I very much was hoping would happen. Uh, I saw it I saw it go under and I'm like, oh no. This is bad. <sighs> okay, so we've got our first one, so I can sell all of the crabs. None of these are cursed. But we're also right next to one of the things that we need. So, like, ultimately, it's not that big of a deal. Like, that could have been way worse. Ah, dang it. No cursed fish. Oh, right. I should be using atrophy here. Because, yeah, I don't need... I don't need any of this stuff. Was that before or after finishing the Ghost Shark one? Unfortunately, after... Uh, it... We didn't get the Ghost Shark on that one. But that's fine. We've got the Rapture... Uh, Grinning Maw turned upwards to the sky. Wing-like fins ready to take flight. That kind of sucks because I kind of need that for two things now. Well, let's see if we get lucky. Hey, there we go. Well, it's a trophy. Perfect. Okay, that should be the thing. We blasted it open. Everything's working out for me. Turn the lights back on. I was kind of hoping it would have saved at this point. Well, I don't need trophies anymore. Heck, I don't need any of this stuff. I think this game does have a bit of a problem with uh, the upgrades. Well, would I call it a problem? I don't know if I really would or not. Um, that uh, specifically, like you get all of your upgrades in Dredge kind of too early. I almost feel like there should have been a little bit more. Uh, I think just some really weird power-ups like after you get to a certain certain point in the game where it's kind of clear that you've Expanded past The bounds of what is sensible Okay Well, we got one at least so let's just put that there Eldritch upgrades unlocked using the workshop at the collector's place. Yeah, stuff like that. Oh. We have a bomb spot. Yeah, might as well use them. It would have had the roaming shop lady not sell, sell you the good metal. Just so you need to find the dredge spots with the explosives. Kind of, yeah. But, like, I think that would have just made it slightly slower to get the final stuff. Um, 
Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, it's just jewelry. It ain't this stone, but it looked interesting. Ah, it's a sextant. Well, we might as well go save. Rest. Why? Sleep is for the weak. I only sleep to pass time. Let's hope one of my crab traps has just picked up what I need. No. Okay, so we don't have any other cursed fish here. Uh, let's see. Can I use the atrophy power? I really should, yeah. Alright. I'm just gonna discard this. I have infinite money and nothing to spend it on. So... I'm just going to come to the trap and then toss the fish. Oh, that's not... That's not a fish spot. Is that a fish spot? It is. But that might actually... Are these regular fish, or is this one of the sharky things? Yeah, because if it's a sharky thing, it's not worth going for. However, I think we just got what we needed. A second rap shark. One of the, like, rarer fish, probably. And it's what I'm tossing into the shrine. Wow, I'm sacrificing so many ghost sharks in here. Anyway, whoop. Oh, that's my light. Sorry. I want to atrophy. Oh. Deface skate. Bones replace cartilage and erupt through the soft skin. A frightening new form begins to emerge. Take all. Well, everything gets cursed now. <laughs> Confused her. Alright, that should prevent any of them from getting at me. Okay, and let's move this one over since it's, uh, scuffed. Oh, what is this? Rusted Talisman. Okay, that's- that sounds fun. That's- why couldn't we get more cool stuff like that? Uh, let's see. Where's a geyser? Oh, you can actually just outspeed those suckers. Alright, let's go over here. Did I leave the flame? I cast it into the abyss. Uh, wow. That boost is obscene. Alright, let's go get the flames. Now, that's not a rod, per se. Hello, dear sweet mommy. Unfortunately, your babies are too slow. Farewell! I am heinously fast. Just cut through that. I don't know if they're even still following me. Or if I've just sped them. But yeah, I was expecting the, uh, final fish to, in this area to be scarier. But, like, oddly enough, I think this scariest guardian fish was the, uh, no, the second, the second region had the scariest, by far. Okay, let's check my storage. Did I get all the flames? Yeah, I did. My storage is very full, though. I should probably go to the shipyard. Can I sell stuff to her? Yes. I'm gonna sell the refined metal. Just you watch, there's nothing else for me. Uh, there's no reason to keep these things. That'll get to somebody that actually still needs to collect this stuff, but I don't. Personally though, I would say the, uh, the first region you go to, the cliffs, that had the most frightening enemy. It wasn't the scariest, but it was definitely the most frightening just in terms of it popping out to just absolutely wreck your business.
Oh, is that one? Huh. Oh, I don't have my lights on. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find me. Interesting. So you really do have to keep your lights on for those guys to, to find you. Is, is this here the dock? Okay, statues. Left. Take your flame. Cold flame roars in the statue's hands. Middle. Okay, right. Statue's flames. Prepar preparations are complete. The fanatic awaits. Oh, he's there. What is it? Ah, uh, the flames are lit. Ah, oh, I can feel it. The chill of the deep touches us now. It is time. Come. You follow him up the stairs, steps of the temple. At the top is a black stone altar, stacked high upon upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He pulls an antique pocket watch from inside his robe. Droplets of sea spray crackle and seethe in the air around it. You are drawn to it too, I see. It found me during my rite of proving as I scavenged for creatures of power. It sapped my spirit when I first recovered it, but I came to appreciate its strange nourishment with time. It's almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket... Oh, sorry. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he begins... He clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. Say nothing. The wind picks up. Swirling sea spray surrounds the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. Say nothing. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues. No pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulfs him. It rages for a moment, and then abruptly dies away. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly, before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. Inspect the pyre. It is cold and damp, and has a big-ass watch. You take the pocket watch. It's freezing cold. It vibrates in your palm, clock hands spinning wildly below the cracked surface. Or uh, cracked face. Sweets. Okay, so we are still quite mad, which is fine. We are going to manifest. Zoop. Okay, so we don't actually want to go back yet. I want to talk to the lighthouse lady just to see what her answer is. Oh, right, I should probably turn my lights on. There's a lot of rocks here. I was actually expecting the phantom rocks to be more of an issue, but it really is only a problem around here. What's up, eyeballs? You and I will be seeing each other very soon. I guess you see me now, but it's fine. Alright, it's time for the mayor to get upset at me again for never sleeping. Nope, we're good. Alright, let's go to the fishmonger. How are you still not dead? I guess we had some rot. Whatever. I am... I am beyond caring for simple, simple things anymore. Oh, my crab pots. I left them behind. Oh, well. Hi. What do you know about the silver and crimson book? She shudders at the very mention of the book. Mm. You're really asking me after all this time? You know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have, you have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control. Be rid of that thing once and for all. Oh, are we the are we the man? No. What do you know about the old old mayor of Little Morrow? Oh. That's he's. I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay, but I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Yeah. So. We are the fishermen. That might have even been our previous boat. But we've lost our mind and are losing our mind multiple times. And the man casting the spells... Is us? Time to confront the man. You climb the broken steps to the old mansion. 
the waves swelling and crashing against the basalt columns that surround you. You pause before crossing the threshold. Deliver the relic, conceal the relic. Tell me about that book of yours. Which book? This one here? With a wry grin, he pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not much to be said of the histories of the Grey Isles. It's quite the chore. Don't play dumb. You know which book I mean. Play dumb. Your hypocrisy is wearying. I suppose we must go through this rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep... Uh, oh, the Book of the Deep appears in his hands, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead, ask us. Where did you get it? Sparkling dust motes hang in the air between you. Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically, like a quickening heartbeat. So is she. Who? You wanted to forget? Begged me. The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. You take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forwards in response. What can you pro possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike up with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. You're pathetic. The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages. And now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic and we can do undo everything. Undo what you did. <sighs> he approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. You take out the watch. Its ha once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. You place it in front of the collector. There's been some decades since... Oh, there has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this. The sound of its mechanisms have, has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete, I must admit. I am surprised I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with the five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. We'll see her again soon. It'll be worth it. You know this. I know. We must make one final voyage. This time, I will be with you. I'm ready. You're entering the final phase of the game. Progress will not be saved from this point onwards. You wish to continue? Yes. Will not be saved from this point onwards. Yep. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Now, our destination is the open expanse west of Greater Morrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open waters. Not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. His shape disappears from the mirror. A chill rises in your body as you turn to leave. The Collector is with you. Yeah, so we get to we get to reload. It's not a biggie. Oh, good. Not only is it marked on the map, it is super obvious where this thing is. Oh, that's some big bones down there. Oh, I'm super insane. Aren't there some black rocks around here that I've never, never looked at? You know, I never read this one. The town of Greater Morrow burns. The lighthouse lies collapsed, its light extinguished. A red glow fills the sky beyond a cyclone that drains the world. Ooh. Time for a bad ending. Ah. Uh, uh. It's kind of an overplayed trope, but I do appreciate the reveal all the same. It makes a lot of sense. I just wish the rest of the dialogue, more characters had been familiar with our character. Because we very much had more of a stranger's feel. <sighs> this is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Only here and because of what we've achieved. You open the book. Its pages are frosted with ice and chill mist rises around your fingers. You begin to read aloud. To release a lost one frozen... Oh, to release a lost one frozen in time. You throw the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains in the deep, you throw the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. You throw the ring overboard. 
Open the door to the starry heavens. You slot the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. You throw the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Oh, that's more of a humanoid face. Oh no, never mind. It's not. It's a giant sculpture thing. No, it's pulsating, never mind. Hey, Cthulhu, probably. That's actually one of the better madness endings I think I've ever seen in one of these games. Like it didn't it didn't need to show anything crazy. Like I, I'm thinking back of the Call of Cthulhu game, and it ends with like people just fighting each other as Cthulhu just walks by. And it was kind of just like eh. But yeah, you get what you wanted, but everything else is gone. And who knows even what state you're in or what state she's in? Like absolutely scuffed across the board. <laughs> is this the prequel to Sucker for Love? <laughs> Oh, man. Department of Conservation, New Zealand Bird Songs and Calls. Ah, neat. And yeah, is that even her is the question. I was actually kind of hoping we get like a bit of dialogue or something like that just for a little bit extra. Uh, is there a good or true ending? Yes, there. there is another. It's kind of a bittersweet ending, I'm sure, but we're going to throw the book into the ocean and return it. I don't know if there's a true ending. There's um, stone tablets that I still have to collect for one of these side quests, but I, I truly do not know what uh, what is involved with that one. Uh, and so it's kind of, I, I don't know. I, I could do it, but that feels like it's gonna take a lot more time. And at this point, how long have I been, how long have I been streaming for? I have no idea, actually. Uh, it's like three, three and a half hours, give or take. Four hours. Okay, yeah. And so, like, maybe I could find it. I, I guess the question is, if I find the stones, does it change the ending at all? Or not? Or is that just some extra stuff? Because it's one of those where, like, I could do it if it's short and if, uh, if we just back, if I just get backseated. But no, then it's probably not worth it for me. I only really care about that stuff if, if it actually affects the ending. Yeah, stones are just lore. Gotcha. And, I mean, lore is good, but so is dinner. And I guess Shell had eaten a bun, so she's probably not as hungry as I am. But I am hungry. Yeah, she says she's really hungry, so... Alright, I'm gonna skip this. I don't think we're actually gaining any information. It would have been cool if uh, Cthulhu was just like doing a thing in the background. <laughs> now I'm thinking Vampire the Masquerade, uh, where I specifically, um, I got the wolf ending and that was magical. Okay, so conceal the relic. Uh, let's see. Tell me about that book of yours. Yeah, so he's not at a door frame. That is a window. That's cool. So, which book? This one here? Okay, so it's the same deal. Don't play dumb. Give me the book. Because we've already done this dialogue. Where did you get it? Don't you remember? You were there. The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So is she. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. Step closer. We take a step closer through the crackling room. The collector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? Take the book. You strike out with your right fist, punching hard into the jaw of the collector. His face shatters and falls to the ground. You're pathetic. 
The Book of the Deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink us into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there on the pages, and now you've seen its power firsthand. We wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic, and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Eh, whatever. Okay. So now what? Now that I have the book, what is my goal? Uh, pursuits. Search for relics, find more tablets, catch a fang tooth. Oops. Found the watch. Well, we have the book now. What do we do with it? Book goes overboard. Oh no. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, hey shipwright. I didn't oopsie again. All right, lighthouse keeper, help. What is it? I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Make the most of this window of lucidity. Now is the time to act. You still remember where it happened, in that gloomy darkness behind the bay. When you're ready, I'll point the way. I'm ready. Okay, final. Yep, cool. You must wait until the night's thickest, until the oceans that is is as it was all those years ago. It's time, I'll point the way. Follow my light, go and do what's right for her. Throw it back. It's still kind of weird to me that the mayor was treating us like we were new. Did... Or maybe he did? Should I keep watching if I'm worried about spoilers? Leave now. This is the ending. Like, sp spoiler, you are in spoiler zone. I almost feel like I should actually have like a steam overlay that I turn on when we're in like mega spoiler territory if I start streaming on YouTube. Like even just a small thing put in the corner. Uh, but <laughs> have a lovely afternoon, evening, whatever time of day it is. Time to beat the game again. Throw it back. The book struggles. In your grasp, its weight somehow shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan rumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw it back. You throw it into the foaming water. Did you remember the NPCs who were telling you the old mayor is dead? But he wasn't dead, which is also confusing. There's some inconsistencies here, and I'm not quite sure why. Oops. Yeah, I mean, it's fair. Everybody has low-level madness, memory loss, or... Our main character is an unreliable narrator. Who knows? <laughs> Unlocked ending, nom. <laughs> but, I mean, for the main character... I mean, for the rest of the world, that's still a better ending. I wish the guy had gotten the chance to properly move on, as opposed to ki kind of just... Uh, moved on and then... <laughs> But whatever is the game is what it is. Oh, you're right, the Aurora Borealis, because we had taken it out to taken her out to sh uh, show it to her. And uh, there we go. Well, one way or another. Oh, the new mayor probably came in after the incident and doesn't recognize you. Fair. Yeah, no, that yeah, that's actually probably it. One way or another, I would have expected the Lighthouse Keeper to probably tell him things, but is what it is. What an absolutely lovely game. And for the fact that it only took, what, uh, two and a quarter sittings to finish was perfect for me. I really like, um, I really like games where I can, yeah, beat it in this short of a period of time, because it means that I can go on with my day and go off and do other things, and it feels really good. Dang, just showed up. I am sorry. At least you didn't get spoiled. I Not that the endings are particularly, like, 
important, all things considered, but it would have sucked to find out the secret. Yeah, the lighthouse keeper bother, uh, barely even bothers telling you. Why bother telling an arrogant mayor who will just call her a cook? Yeah, no, that's fair. Still can't piece any of this together. Okay, so, um... A lot of the notes that you picked up, those messages in a bottle, uh... They kind of tell the story of the game, but they tell the story of somebody else. Uh, so effectively, the main character... Okay, be gone if you are worried about spoilers at this point, like if you're just showing up. I'm sorry. Uh, but so effectively, the, the main character was a young fisherman. And he had kind of a, a girlfriend or a wife that he was proposing to. And, you know, lovely little romance, taking her out of, on the boat, uh, looking around for things, dredging for treasures. Um, and proposed to her while looking at the Aurora Borealis in the bay down south. And so uh, he proposes and they kind of have a lovely married life, but she's bored on the shore. And has nothing to do so she wants to join him uh join him on the boat so they can go treasure hunting together and uh i guess just after their marriage he had tried renaming the boat uh but it had failed in some way shape or form like the ceremony he had done and he felt like it cursed them i don't know if that mattered or not but so effectively she finally joins him on the boat to go out dredging for treasure and maybe they did it once maybe they did it multiple times uh you know, just going out looking for loot beneath the seas. But during one of those outings, um, they renamed the boat. She kept a keychain with a name, which is uh, bad luck. Got it. But so, uh, on, I guess, the fateful outing out dredging for, for loot, they dredge up a book. But in doing so, uh, it causes the boat to sink. And the main character manages to wash to shore with the book in hand, but his wife drowned then and there. Afterwards, afterwards, the main character more or less goes on an insane spiral, losing his mind and slipping in and out of lucidity, still kind of acting as a fisherman because clearly people treat him as such. Yeah, the wife's name was Julie. And the boat was named after her and the necklace dedicated to Jay. Yep. Um, and so slipping in and out of lucidity, acting as a fisherman. And uh, had a previous boat identical to the one that you ended up in. Kind of sort of identical. Uh, but you crashed it and somehow got back, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but so we might actually take control of the character immediately after... The previous boat crash, and you can find the wreckage uh, kind of on one of the nearby islands. Uh, but the the new mayor doesn't quite know that we're the same guy that's been around for a while. And gives us a new boat and just sends us off. And we just do things as though we're a new guy, even though we're actually just insane. Uh, is the manor actually your house? I don't know if the manor is your house or if it's just a house that you would you took over because no one else lived there. I don't think I re remember reading any lore about that house in any way, shape, or form. Um, but so, over the course of our journey, we go seek the fish, we collect all of the different magical artifacts that effectively could unleash Cthulhu and also resurrect our wife. Uh, but then also we kind of gain further lucidity with our purpose. And in doing so, gain the ability to either uh, throw all of the artifacts into the ocean and summon Cthulhu and our wife back, or uh, to throw the book into the ocean and seal away, seal it away again. Uh, not for good, but, you know, as long as nobody else goes to dredge it up again as well. And then... Uh, let's see. And so, yes, you and the Collector are the same person. You think that house had a darkest dungeon beneath it? I think it had the flooded section, maybe. Thank you, it makes sense. I appreciate that. Yeah, glad to help out. Yeah, absolutely lovely game. Really enjoyed this one. And super looking forward to hopefully playing more games by these developers. I don't know if they made anything prior to this one, but like this was, this was solid. And frankly, 
If they want to keep the formula but switch it up in some way, shape, or form, I would gladly play that. Because I think the game needed more depth, horror, um, just to really capitalize on, on a lot of their ideas. Ah, shame. There's no Steam dev page for Black Salt games. It's a shame. And he ends up with his wife, either way, sort of. There's some lore about a purchase the old mayor made from some mysterious benefactor, which is probably you from before the event. So, it is your island and your house. Got it. Sequel, sequel to Dredge. Sink. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, with all of that said, it is time for me to stop and go get dinner and feed a shell. Uh, so, thank you all so much for joining me. I was not expecting the sheer number of people showing up over the course of these streams. And as such, I'm going to try and do this a little bit more often. It's, it's clear that at least some of the games catch people's interest. And so, if I can uh, keep capitalizing on that. Boy, it would be nice to play some uh, games to completion again on camera. Uh, anything else to say? Really, no, not much. Uh, I've got a link in my description, in, in the description of the stream below. If you guys want to uh, hop on the Discord, that's where I take uh, descriptions and interact with people a little bit more. Or descriptions, suggestions, sorry. I'm looking at dread, Dredge and I'm like, description? No. Uh, but I take suggestions there, so if you have games that you want me to play. Uh, that is where you do it. Not in stream chat. But, for now at least, you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.